I guess we're going live. <laughs> I have to admit that um, I built a um, I built a thumbnail to do a live stream, but honestly, I I thought <laughs> I thought I never launched a live stream. I built a thumbnail. Uh oh, and I, I got to uh, do a live. I got I got feedback there, and I, I never thought about. I never thought. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm doing a live stream, and it never even crossed my mind to tell. I looked at my own page, and I said, "Oh my god, it's saying I'm doing a live stream." So I thought, you know what? Let me jump on for a little bit here, see what everyone's up to, see what's going on. Zach Attack's already in the room. We already got a few other people sitting in here. I didn't think anyone would even be here because I didn't even advertise. I didn't even know I was doing it. What's good, Tim? Everything's good. Had some good dinner. Had some good food. It was enjoyable. It's an enjoyable meal. Let's talk about the New York football Giants, though. All the fun stuff that we got going on. Tim, would you draft a box uh, box safety in the second round or so X-Men can be a true free safety? I think we've talked about this, Zach. I think we've mentioned this previously. I, I, I am not. It's not that I'm not a Kyle Hamilton fan. I did a whole big video about Kyle Hamilton. Not, not that I don't um, think he is going to be a force in the NFL. I, I think he will be. But I can't take him within the top 10. We did it before going back to 2011. Only... Uh, one safety, Jamal Adams, was taken in the uh, top 10 in those 10 years. Uh, Mika Fitzpatrick, of course, won 11. And then he had a pretty good career sitting over there in Miami. And then he, uh, Mr. Lewis, I haven't seen you in a while, Mr. Lewis. Just sitting here talking, talking to Zach, talking to a few other people. Did a little bit of a surprise stream today. It was a surprise to me because I forgot I had even, I forgot I even built it into the, uh, <laughs> into stream yard or yard stream or what it's called. But like I said, I can't take a, I can't take a safety that high. I can take a safety in the second round. I can, I can move. Like I said, I can't move Xavier McKinney out of the free safety position. We drafted him for a reason. We drafted him to be a baller. We drafted him to be a difference maker. We drafted him to get the turnovers. He is not a guy that's going to sit in the box Peppers is more of an in-the-box safety because I think it was uh, not 2020. He spent like 67% of his uh, snaps in the box. So he's going to be that quasi-safety linebacker, and it allows Xavier McKinney to roam and do what he does best. And that's what we need to look at. And Kyle Hamilton, you're going to take a guy that's 6'4", 220 pounds, and who can cover like a linebacker. I'm not assuming he can cover like he can cover like a corner in the safety position. But the problem is I've heard, I've seen this before. We we've seen, we've seen the unicorns come and go before we've seen the people that are like, Oh, you know, before, Oh, you know, we, he's the greatest person. We've never seen this before. We never saw Kyle Pitts before. And yeah, he did have a thousand yards. We had one touchdown. He found the red zone a little bit more difficult to get into. And I'm not saying that Keith Hamilton's not go Keith Hamilton, <laughs> Keith Hamilton, number 75. I'm not saying that, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying that uh, Hamilton's going to be a bust. Far from that. I think he's going to be a spectacular player, but I can't take him at seven. What's up, Tom? How you doing? What do we got here? Oh, we got a, we got a first Saquon Barkley. Here are the 49ers of interest in Barkley. Would you trade Barkley for a third-round pick? No. I got him on an $8 million contract. The contract is, dead cap number is $8 million. I need to find – I can't remember. I need to look to see if it, exactly what the trade value cap number would be for him. But I can't do a third round pick. I can't. I need to build his assets. I need to build his his. He just needs to build his resume back up so you can literally get something more than that for him because he is still a second round, second overall pick. So you have to, you have to, you have to work on the fact that you need to see what else you can get from him. If I'm going to trade him, it's going to be more towards the deadline. But I can't, I can't take a third round pick for him right now. I can't. Like the hair, yeah, I got hair. <laughs> My problem is at 50 something years old, I got a lot of hair and it just keeps growing back. And I shaved the sides down to a two and within a couple of weeks, <laughs> it's growing back and get back. All right. A pimp named slick back. What's going on, Tim? Oh, what's going on, Tim? I don't know how you feel about the Sixers trade, but I like the Nets making the right move. Harden is 33 and decline. The Sixers gave up a haul to get a decline asset. The problem is with the Sixers trade as I am a quasi Sixers fan with Ben Simmons. You don't know what you're going to get. Ben Simmons can also not shoot with within if you go beyond three feet from the basket. And I don't know how he's going to mesh with Kyrie Irving. And I don't know how he's going to mesh with Kevin Durant. And I honestly don't know how he's going to blend in this net situation. Nets have lost 10 in a row. Fabian, what's up? What's going on, my friend? How are you doing tonight? Good evening, Matthew. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good time. 
Here we go here. Tim, what grade would you give the roster of coaches Shona Dabla brought in? I like it. I like what they're doing. I said this in the video today. Judge brought in a lot of failed college head coaches. These guys are bringing in guys with a lot of experience as positional coaches. And that's what you want. You want a guy that's been in the positional coaches for a good 15, 20 years, and that's what they do. Because we're going to have our young roster, and that's what we need to teach. And I hope that's what that's the way we keep moving. And like I said, I, I'm um, I'm not against. I've actually think some of the moves are like I said. If you're going to bring in a guy that's been a positional guy for 10, 15 years, and just like I said, he just he's a defensive line coach, and that's all he's really done. That means he's good at his job. That's and that's exactly what it means. He's good at doing what he's doing. And that'll te- that allow us to have him come in and teach the young guys what we need to teach them. So I'm actually, I don't have a problem with that. I agree with Tim. Well, of course, Mr. Lewis, I appreciate you agreeing with me. Zach coming out says, I think the Giants are building a good staff. They seem to be successful position coaches. That's what I was just saying. That's what the Giants need to coach up players. They have. You got to coach up players that you have. That is 100%, Zach. You got to coach up what you have. And, that, and I think that's what we need to do. What's going on, Skyler? Uh, I really hope we don't take Kyle Hamilton. We need linebackers and an edge. After that, we see something from the line. Yeah, I mean, people are going to say, well, he could be the quasi line, but he's he's not a Kyle Hamilton's not a strong. I mean, he's not a strong safety. He's a free safety. He's not a strong safety. If you want to point out a deficiency in Kyle Hamilton's game, it's his tackling. He's not the greatest tackler. And a lot of the problems he has is he, 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 in college, you can do this. You can rely on talent, but his t- technique is very sloppy in regards to tackling. And he's not going to be able to get away with that in the pros. Kyle is going to be a solid wherever he goes, but we have more pressing. We do have, we have more pressing needs right now. We do. We have more issues right now. And that's what we need to focus on. That's what we need to look at. We got to focus what's in front of us and safety is not in front of us right now. Offensive line, defensive edge, linebackers. These are pressing needs. You're going to need it. People keep forgetting. You're going to need a tight end. <laughs> yeah. I am not I am not getting the warm and fuzzy with Caden Smith and Kyle Rudolph because Kyle Rudolph is going to be gone. But you need a tight end. What does Gary have to say here? Gary, I think it'll take three years to get to the playoffs. I'm saying 2025. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know how many years that is. I can't count. I don't have math and Dom's not here to do my math. Dom's not here to do my math right now. If he balls out and we have a good year with DJ and Barkley, they're both going to get extensions. I don't think Barkley would be crazy with asking price. Maybe we'll have to see. I I don't know. I I think with Barkley, like I said, you got to hold on to him. You got to hold on to him at least until the week before the trading deadline. You got to see if he's a, a second year of the ACL is always going to be the comeback year. If you, if you take out Adrian Peterson and look at n- the normal response time and recovery time for the ACL, it's usually 24 months before you get back to where you were. So that's what we're going to have to wait and see. We got too many holes. Mike Lee, Mr. Cruising on a summer day, cruising along. What did I miss? Too busy with Tanya. You know. Tanya Roberts. He's hanging out with an ex ex Charlie's angel. I forgot who she took over for. I think the Nets wanted Ben Simmons defense since they were lacking in defense. Well, the problem is they're lacking in defense in the middle. (laughs) I know he's going to be a good edge defender. Uh, I'm telling you, man, the Ben Simmons thing scares me a lot. He's a very sensitive guy. How is he going to mesh with Kyrie Irving only with half the games? It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. And he's not going to give you anything offensively, except when he's going to dunk or be with the round the rim. But he, we, what are you going to do with Durant then? You know, put Durant always on the outside. Good teachers brought in a staff this time. Around. That's the thing. It's good teachers. It's teachers that it's guys that are coming in that are going to teach. And that's what the giants need. They need guys that, because they're going to be, this is going to be a young team because if you look at the fact that if you go by the salary cap, we're not bringing in a really big time free. It's everyone we're bringing in is going to probably be either over the hill or a young guy, a young guy trying to cut his teeth on his, uh, you know, in the NFL. So you're going to need these guys to coach him up. Zach says, I see Malik Willis coming number two. 
He's not. I saw this about the second Malik going Malik going in the second round. Whoever thinks Malik is going in the second round, you're doing drugs. <laughs> There's been so and he hasn't even gone through the pro day. He hasn't even gone through. I, I'm not even sure if he's going to go to the combine, but he hasn't even gone through his pro day yet. His stock is going to just keep going up. I mean, but I've said this before. I love Malik Willis, but there's the problem with Malik is that there's going to be no, there's going to be no gray area. You either he's either going to be, he's either going to be Michael Vick or he's going to be a Kiwi Smith. I mean, that's 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 what it's going to be. There's going to be there's going to be nothing outside of that. Outside of AH and KT, who is the biggest edge rusher? Who is the best edge? Those are the two best rushing rushers. I know you're saying outside of them, but those are the two best edge rushers. True value edge rushers. I mean, there's some other guys, but those are those are going to be the those are going to be the big two. There, I mean, Adrian Hutchinson. That was a, that's someone we should try to figure out if there's a way to get. And you kind of hope that Malik, and I'm not, like I said, not that I want to pass on Malik, but you kind of hope that he that Adrian Hutchinson doesn't go one overall, and then he slides. He pulls like a Josh Allen from two. You know, he pulls a Josh Allen in regards to the linebacker out of Kentucky. You know, we pick some guy at six. We're still waiting to see. As on that fan, we gave up. Yeah, you gave it. Levert, you didn't win the Allen, Seth Curry, Drummond, and Simmons. We have a solid bench for Harden for him to play only 16 games in Durant. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm a quasi Sixers fan. I admit it because I've, I've gone to many games at Wells Fargo. I've sat courtside many a times. I, I just, you know, and slowly, the slowly trust the process. Well, here's another piece of the process who has been traded away. All that's left on with the process now is Joel Embiid. Do we replace Jones this season? Tom, let me tell you something about replacing Jones this season. My answer is going to be yes. There's not, I'm not even not going to give you an answer. My answer is going to be yes. You replace his ass. You send his ass out on the boat. You send him on somewhere. You, you, you find a team. If he's injury free, which you hope he is, you send him somewhere. You send him maybe, you send him maybe to Pittsburgh. You send him for a team that, you know, that, that could use that could use him and kind of move from there. But yeah, I, I personally would like to move on from, him. I really would. Oh, we got the Eagles nest coming into the house. Hello, giant fans. Eagles nest number two, eight, nine. Yeah. You made the playoffs and I, and I'm still a Jalen hurts fan. I am. What does Mr. Lewis got to say here? Oh, what I do like about Dable's coaching staff is he's bringing in friends. He's comfortable with like judge did. He is bringing them in experienced coaches. I like you know what if you're familiar with a guy or you're familiar if you worked with him, I don't have a problem with that. But like I said, everything one that Joe Judge brought in was an ex- was a failed head coach in college. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but once a loser, always a loser. Some of these guys, so some of these guys, I mean, just it just didn't make sense. You bring, but now they're bringing in experienced position coaches, and that's the key word: experienced position coaches. And that's what they're doing. So you got to like that. You got to like it. Tim literally took the words in my mouth. And t- we don't have a tight end. <laughs> we don't. I'm sorry. We do not have a tight end. Caden Smith is a third tight end at best. Everyone will talk about his touchdown catch in the preseason game. Everyone will talk about that, but that's all he does. There was a, there was a giant called Billy Taylor. And he was a running back back in the 80s, early, early, early 80s. And they referred to him as two-yard Taylor because that's what he would do. He would get two yards, and that's it. He went on to the USFL for the uh, Washington Federals. But Caden Smith is the same thing. Caden Smith will get you six yards, and that's it. Fairly decent blocker, but he's a third tight end at best. Third, we need a tight end like the Wisconsin kid who can block a catch. We do. We need, I mean, it's, it's different that so many people forget that we don't have a tight end. I was surprised the Knicks to try to trade open anyone more. They could have had, yeah. You know what the problem with the Knicks is they just stood, I, you know, I'm getting worried about Rose a little bit, but I'm glad they didn't trade Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish had a nice game last night against the Golden State Warriors and that win, that two point win. They got to, they got to play Reddish more. Steelers like Willis. Steelers like Willis. Carolina likes Willis. Evidently, Detroit likes Willis. I'm hearing rumblings that the Texans like Lewis. Willis. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, wait. I got that sound effect. I keep, I forget, I keep forgetting that. 
don't mind me guys i did my um i did my uh my test radio show today <laughs> it is my fault wait a minute here what am i doing what you talking about Will? there we go what you talking about wills did my test radio show today for three hours and 46 minutes all the equipment worked everything worked now I have to just wait to see if the program director and everyone says I'm ready for the 18th. And then if this, oh, we're going to make an announcement as soon as we do, uh, but it'll be fine. We're looking at Dean. Would you take him? I'm like, I'm a Devin Lloyd guy. I've already said I'm a Devin Lloyd guy. Did a whole video about Devin Lloyd. He is the cover blitzing linebacker with speed that we need in the middle that can run with the defense with the wings defense. That's what we need. I've said it before. I would take Malik at five, Devin at seven. That's all I'm going to say. Ah, the lag is killing me. You're going to have to watch the replay. If you want to show the photo, you can. Uh, I don't know if I can show the photo. <laughs> I would have to actually go and do that. Uh, trade up to number one. Mm, no, because I'm going to have to give, I'm going to have to give five and seven for one. And then I'm probably going to have to give, a uh, third round or maybe a fourth round or next year. No, I, I can't. I can't trade up for number one. She put on an amazing performance. <laughs> Was it one of these performances? Stop. It's one of those performances, Mike. I'm not going to get to that. You freak. <laughs> uh, I saw a couple rumors that are circulating that Steelers want to trade with the Giants for five and pick. Yeah, knowing the Steelers, they would trade the fifth pick to get Malik Willis and screw us. Uh, only trade five and seven if you get it. No, he's not going to trade. He's not going to. They're, they're going to want more than five and seven. Are you watching the USFL? Yeah, I'm going to watch the USFL. I've watched, I actually watched the USFL back in the early 80s. <laughs> I watched the WFAL. I watched Arena Football League. Uh, they had the other World Football League when it was the uh, New York, was it the New York, New Jersey Knights? I went to that first home game as well. So, yeah, it's football. <laughs> I'll be watching it. Uh, what do you think about people who are saying drafting by positional value is stupid? Well, they're stupid. <laughs> I'll just blatantly say it, Connor. They're dumb. They're a bunch of morons. Positional value has been what's been used in the NFL for years. This is not, and I've been saying, I said this the last couple of years, this is not something that's just new. This is not something people are saying, oh, this positional value thing, this is a new thing. Just say, no, positional value has been around for a reason. Go back and look at the drafts. There are certain players in certain positions that always get taken in the top 10. Stay off Twitter, Connor. <laughs> Tyrone's in the house. What's up, Tyrone? How you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Jake Ferguson at the fourth round. If he's available, yeah, I can see that. I like that one. Uh, I think the resume of these coaches are pretty good. They have a long resume, if anything. I'm happy now. Let's see if they can figure it out. Let's see if they can figure it out. I'm happy with what we picked up. I'm happy with the coaching staff. I'm happy that we can move forward. What does Mr. Lewis got to say? I'm afraid that Williams will fit the wing, uh, excuse me, the wink defense and may end up keeping him. I don't think they're going to keep him at that salary. And I know we can get out of most of it in 2023. There'll still be a cap number, but I, I honestly, Williams, Leonard Williams does not fit in the wink system as much as people would think. Defensive ends fit in the wink system. King of the almost sack. We can't have king of the almost sack. That's the problem. You need a pass rushing ends. And, and that's why they went out and traded for the, you know, traded for a unique in God way. And uh, I forget the other guy, the other guy from the Jaguars. That's what, but that's what the defense need. And he really doesn't fit that mold. He's going to have to play. If you're going to go with the three, four Williams is going to have to play one of the edge. And then you're going to take Dexter Lawrence and put him in the, what they took the, the nose tackle position. And then you're going to have another edge and we need to find that edge. Who can be a good tight end? Me? I sure could. Billy Two Yard Taylor was a bum. He was a terrible. Billy Two Yard Taylor fan. That was back in the early '80s. Caden Smith caught a touchdown in the preseason against Grocery Baggers. Now fan thinks he's a Kronk. Ah, I know that, that's Joel. I know. I said that. I was. I was actually at that game. I watched him. I was at. I was sitting. And I was on the forty-five yard line towards that end of that towards that end of the field where he caught it. Because and yeah, I, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh my god, everyone's gonna go crazy. 
Carolina likes Pickett. They might. My thing is this. You don't know who everyone likes. You don't know. They're going to all lie. (laughs) They're a bunch of liars. I'd rather take Isaiah likely with the boy farmer. He can set the edge and catch. According to the reports, he missed one catch all year and had a decent amount of targets. Uh, Yeah, I know you're talking about, but it's a cowboy. (laughs) It's like picking up an eagle. You just don't do that. Except uh, Bennett from the Cowboys. <laughs> I miss Bennett, man. The Black unicorn. That was great. Can we uh, can always draft the tie in and rain back in the middle rounds? You can. You can, which would make sense. Lloyd is much better than Dean. Here's the thing about Lloyd and Dean. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the scuttlebutt about Lloyd and Dean right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you this right now about those two guys. Oh, wait, we got. We got We got to drop this. Put this. We got to block this. You know, we'll put them in timeout because usually if you put them in timeout, it doesn't go away. But they got wonked. The spammer got wonked. The spammer got wonked. Here's the thing about Lloyd and Dean. My moderator's not here today. Um, I think Dean potentially could have a bigger upside than Devin Lloyd. I do think he could have potentially have a bigger upside. But the problem is, I think Lloyd is more pro ready. And I think he could start immediately. This is why Mr. Lewis is smart. I'm a Devin Lloyd guy too. What's Mr. Tyrone got to say? Uh, Tim, I need for you to tell people that Trubisky is better than Jones. Okay, Trubisky is, that's why he would back up Jones. I don't know if Trubisky is better. He has made the playoffs. He has played more games. He has shown promise at times. Honestly, I guess if you do compare them both together, if you look at all the body of work, Mitchell Trubisky, yeah, yeah is better than Daniel Jones. Oh, oh sacrilege. <laughs> sacrilege. Devin Lloyd is way better. I like. I agree. That's why I said I, I'm not against picking Dean. I, I am, well, I am against picking Dean because I want Devin Lloyd. Not against that, but like I said, I think Dean has a greater potential upside. Potential, and that's the key word. It's the same thing with Kyle Hamilton, potentially. He's the unicorn at safety, potentially. What do we got here, Flip? Uh, Judge wanted Patriots instead of the Raiders so we can work on their offensive skill for a future head coach. I don't know, man. I I mean, I don't care. I'm I'm glad he got a job because you don't want to see anyone not get a job. But you know what? It's he just sucks. <laughs> Fucking hate Joe Judge. Uh, Devin is my guy. I would love. I'm taking it at seven because you know who I'm taking at five. <laughs> We're not gonna tell you who I'm taking at five. Everyone knows who I'm taking at five. What's up, Carlos? Tim, I totally agree with you that I would draft Lloyd. And he fits. If you're gonna fit someone in the wink system, here's your linebackers. Your outside linebacker is gonna be Ojolari. You're gonna have Devin Lloyd in one of your inside linebacker positions. If you can get Blake Martinez to renegotiate his contract and take down some of that money and lose some of that guaranteed money, you can put Blake Martinez alongside him. And then Tay Crowder, to me, has always been an undersized middle linebacker, but I think he can handle – now, he can't handle the coverage aspect, but I do think that he can handle a part-time position on the outside linebacker position. And then you also can still bring in Carter Coffin. And a lot of people forget, you know, what about Jalen Smith? There, there are options – options james daniels is young plays center and guard he does you're right but i think he's gonna want some cash <laughs> we're 20 million over the cap and we have to get it down by march 16th we gotta we gotta get down to zero zero ca- over the cap and i keep telling people this nobody ever listens to me i keep telling people that. i've been telling people this since august of last year people are like the cop is a living breathing thing it flows with the universe. It fluctuates. No, you reach a point where the cap is a hard cap number. And when you're 20 million over, there's a problem. Ooh, USFL coverage, Tim. Oh, uh, maybe I might. It's weird that they're playing all the games in Arizona. So the Jersey generals are playing the Michigan Panthers in Arizona. I wish I lived in Arizona. <laughs> Five, seven, Leonard Williams for TJ Watts. Just kidding. Never going to happen. No, it's never going to happen. 
Oh my God. Never old predict. I think the Giants are going in the right direction. 2022 is a building year. Two sort I said, that's what I'm saying. Your cap is beep. Don't worry about it. And I keep saying, if we win four games next year, four games, to me, it's a win. That's a winning season. But we need to show progression with our players. What's up, Gary? We probably picked the four. Uh, we'll probably pick fourth next year, but I'm okay. With, it's a rebuild. Then I'm fine with this. If we win six games, I'll be ecstatic. I'll be so happy if we win six games. Super Bowl predictions. I have the Rams winning this game 35-28. Ooh, I just pulled that one out of my ass. What's up, Jake? Uh, how did Richard Seymour get in the Hall of Fame? His stats are... I don't understand how certain people get in the Hall of Fame, to be honest. I don't get it. I don't get how certain people get in the Hall of Fame and certain people don't. Let, let's let's not even get into the Phil Sims troy Aikman debate. Troy Aikman was the captain of a super team. Phil Sims toiled for years, got benched multiple times, and statistically, they're almost identical. Except he, Aikman's got, what, four Super Bowls or three Super Bowls? Sims has got two. I think Jan deals. Yeah, I, I, but I don't think we have the money. <laughs> I don't think we have the cash. Tim, do you think the USFL will compete with the NFL and move? No, <laughs> deja vu. No, <laughs> I think they've learned their lesson. I think they're learning their lesson big time. Well, Trump was the one that kind of spearheaded that, but I think they've learned their lesson. <laughs> I think they learned this, don't screw around with the NFL. Well, the anti they did bust the antitrust. Uh, Manorator bounced this troll. I bounced the troll personally. I don't know where my moderator went to the night. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> I don't know. I got another one I got to get, but I'm like, oh, I just. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got to set up accounts, but they got wonked. Get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. They got wonked. What's up, Kareem? How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Uh, can we sign Kirk Cousins? If he, I would like to sign Kirk Cousins. I am a big Kirk Cousins fan. I'm a big uh, car fan with the Las Vegas Raiders, and I'm a Kirk Cousins fan. I think Kirk Cousins, Cousins got a bad rap over in Minnesota. I think it's hilarious that um, everyone, when they drafted RG3, everyone's like, why are you going to take Kirk Cousins out? Why? Why? Why would you do that? And look what happened. He ended up playing more games for the Washington team than RG3 did. Trubisky was also better, uh, better situation, so I can't, I can't agree with that. But also was also in a better situation. He had a better defense. But the problem is Giants defense wasn't shabby. And honestly, name the wide receivers Trubisky had. Ken Shane trade DJ ah, instead of the fifth pick. I still think we should. I still think we should dump DJ over to the Steelers. I do. I've said that before. I've said this before. And here's a good question right here. Do DJ would be lucky to fetch a third round? I've said it before. I if I was the Steelers and the neck was OK, or if I was another team that needed to try to move, like maybe Denver, into a better quarterback situation, I would go and uh, I would take DJ for a third. Cut Martinez. Shepard is. I I don't know what the trade number is for Shepard though. He's got the Shep's got a nice <laughs> nice dead cap number, and I keep telling people this: if you cut somebody or you waive somebody, even though you're saving, let's see, let's say you're saving seven million. And you have a dead cap number of 10, that's 17 million. So, what you need to then figure out is if you're going to be able to find a guy for that 7 million that can cover the 17 million dollar player. And sometimes it's okay to have a 17 million dollar player if they equal value is more. Dalvin Tomlinson. Dalvin Tomlinson took 10 million, almost 11 million to go play for Minnesota. We tried to replace him with Danny Shelton. And Austin Johnson, it didn't work. It actually caused more issues with the line. But the two contracts between Danny Shelton and Austin Johnson equaled the contract that we would have paid Dalvin Tomlinson. Sometimes contract equals value. Giants need an infusion. Yeah, we do need an infusion of speed. We need something to linebacker. We haven't had a good linebacker in years, man. We have a good one in years. I also, I just pray that Shane builds his team with real talent. That's all I want. That's all I want too. That's all I want. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Hey, Tim, are you starting to sell Poppy Cocker's merch? Women's clothing should be half off. We will have Poppy Cocker's merch. It, it's coming up. It, it's going to be here soon. Uh, when we hit 10K, we're at almost, I think almost 9,300. We're closing in on 9,300, which is crazy. 
But yeah, we will. Don! Thank you for the super chat. It's the Don Super Chat. I have a I have a bad habit of buying Malik Willis train tickets. I need help. Dom, all you're doing is helping the kids. That's all you're doing. Because you're a good guy. And Malik Willis appreciates it. It's $5 to ride on the Malik Willis Express. Everyone knows that. Dom is actually a VIP member into the Malik Willis Express. On the board, the Malik Willis Express. That's why I always, always appreciate Don, because everyone knows we give the money to the kids. Thank you again, Don. The Giants should make a game in Brazil because I need I need to see a game. Oh, you're in Brazil. That's cool. I haven't I've never been to Brazil. I've been to a lot of places, but I've never been to I've never been to Brazil. I've never been to Brazil. I can't talk tonight because I wasn't prepared for this evening. <laughs> Sitting there laying on the couch. <laughs> looking at my phone real quick. And I said, Oh my god, online big blue's got a stream. Someone should tell online big blue. <laughs> I, I forgot. I, I said it in the yard stream or streamer, whatever the hell it's called. And I didn't I thought I didn't launch it. And I went in there to get some stuff set up for Sunday stream. And then I kind of, I, I was eating dinner at the same time. So then I kind of, I kind of just stopped and I've done like something terribly wrong. Uh, Devin Lloyd. Yep. That's what we're taking. ECK. If you don't ECK, you young YouTuber. It's the ECK sports. Kurt had an underrated season with the Vikings. Needs a quarterback too. Kellen Mund might be the guy. So they wait till next year and tank if they don't get a free agency. I think Kurt Cousins has had a lot of underrated season. He's thrown for over 4,000 yards. I don't know how many times. And yeah, you're going to say he's got the receiving core, and, but you're not wrong. What we got here? Tibbs at five. Lloyd at seven. Start. To, yeah, that would be that would be a start to a killer draft. You're not wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against not drafting Malik Willis. I keep telling people this. If you find a better value, then I'm okay with that. But I'm not against it. But I'm, I'm not against it if we do it for the right reasons. And that's what we need. That's what we need to do. The right reasons. But I also worry that you're going to pass up on a generational talent. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm saying. Uh, where's the O'Shane sound effect? I haven't got the O'Shane sound effect. Uh, like we said, I don't know if you've known this, uh, but, um, you know, we were able to get footage from a Wink Martindale meeting, a defensive meeting. We were able to actually obtain footage from his meeting. So you could tell how aggressive he's going to be. What's your assignment? Kill the quarterback. Hit the tight end so hard his girlfriend dies. Kill everybody. So there we go. That that was strictly from that was from a wink meeting. Uh, if we take Tibbs at five, we're gonna have to get O line at seven. There's there's um, yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. But see, the draft is so early. No one is wrong about anything because we don't know yet. We don't know if anyone's going to come up lame. We don't know if there's going to be a failed drug test. We don't know if there's going to be, you know, a son that takes the Wonderlick test and they screw it up. I took the Wonderlick test. I took it as a joke once. It's a weird test. And, you know, so, I mean, you don't know. And that's kind of what we need to worry about and take a look at. The Knicks overpaid for agents just keep the nucleus previous year. Yeah, well, Bullock would have been a girl good the way he's rocking right now. They don't utilize the young talent to judge their talent and their coaching staff is conservative. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's the Giants all over but basketball. We missed Reggie said that. And I said, Evan's going to be an Al I said he is going to be an Allen Houston anchor contract wise, and he's not going to have the production. Also, uh, yes, thank you. It's my Lawrence Taylor one. I actually found it on the floor. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, I got a crappy T-shirt on, man. So we can throw something on here real quick. Uh, I think it'd be difficult. Tibbs at five. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're not. I mean, I could. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. I could see it though. I could see it though. We might not have a chance to get from Malik. He could be drafted before we. I, I, you know what, Billy? I keep saying that he could go as high as two. And I love when people go, "Well, he's not going to the second round." Well, almost every NFL pronosticator and every NFL scout 
has him going in the top 10. And they all say the same thing. He, he's, he could be a generational talent or he could be the huge, he could be a bigger bust than Ryan Leaf. So you don't know. Uh, I see these mock drafts where we take Charles across that we play the same side as Andrew Tom. Yeah, I saw that too. What do you think of that? Would you move, try to move them and see, you know what the thing is? Here's the thing. We could have got Orlando. We could have traded for Orlando Brown jr. He went to Kansas city and everyone was like, well, he plays the same, but he wants to play the same position as Andrew Thomas and Andrew Thomas is going into his second year. I would have had no problem moving him to right tackle and leaving Andrew Brown at left tackle. Cause I said this before you do that for six, seven years, you got bookend tackles that could be interchangeable. I'm not going to, I'm not going to slide over Andrew Thomas out of his position now that I'm not going to do. What's up, Mr. Lewis, Tim, a quarterback aside. What would you like to see us come out of the first round of the draft? Um, linebacker. I think the linebacker is going to be the biggest need. If 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 you're not going with Malik Willis, I got to go linebacker. I got to go defensive end, and then I have to look at. I have to see who's the best player available because that might be an it might be a guard or a tackle. But to me, if you're not going to me, if you're not going to go Malik, you got to go. You, you got to go linebacker. You have to, because you know what? We need players to put into the system. We need players that can fit what Wink wants to do. And I think that's where the linebacker comes in. Thoughts on Jermaine Johnson. I've seen him mocked up in the to later top 10. He had 12 sacks. He's, he's a good player. I would like him to see more consistent. I can't take him in the top 10, but I, that could change. <laughs> That could change. Oh, again, thank you for the super chat, Don. All super chats go to the kid. It's the Don super chat. Uh, cool story. I'm in Texas. Met D. Ware after retired, and I told him I was a giant fan. He gave me a drift <laughs> look and then said, uh, don't you thought the win the ring in Colorado? He laughed and said, you're right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're in Texas, though. Are 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 well, I'm into? Are you in still? Are you Don? Are, Don, are you still in Texas now? He, after he retired, I told him it was a giant mini game in the drift along. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I I laugh because um um I I met a cowboy. <laughs> I met a cowboy in Jersey, of all places, and he was uh, you know he he was he was from the nineties he was from the nineties team. Um, I'm not going to get into his name because it was kind of a, it's kind of, a, you know, I'm not going to tell that story. <laughs> I'm not going to tell that story. I was going to tell that story, but you know what? Then I got to get into names and I'm not going to tell that story. Ah, <laughs> uh, but thank you, Don. I feel like Malik Willis and Kenny Pickett are going to skyrocket up the draft boards in the next two months. I could honestly see one or even both of them being taken inside top six. I don't see Kenny Pickett being six. Kenny Pickett did not look good in the senior bowl. Kenny Pickett did not look good in senior bowl practice. Fucking practice, man. Fucking practice. <laughs> he didn't look good in practice. And I know it's just practice, but, and he's got small hands, evidently. He doesn't have bear mitts like these. <laughs> People go to, how big are your hands? I got big hands. You have big hands. That's why I was, te I was talking about, uh, I was talking about Devin, uh, no, I was talking about Kyle Hamilton and tackling. You know, because he's got long, I got long arms too. And he's kind of the same way. And I said, the first thing, the problem with his technique is he's got to learn how to wrap up more. And the first thing they teach you is you, you don't lower your head. You lower your shoulder, you wrap, you lock, and then you drive with your legs. And that's what he needs to learn. He needs to learn better technique. I hope, Malo I hope Willis goes before us. Give us a better option with less risk. You don't take a guy with such an uncertain early. Too many other holes in this team to not give DJ a shot. Here's the problem. Be bold, Mike, and mighty forces will come to your aid. That's what you need to do. You got to take a swing for the fences once. The Giants don't swing for the fences. The Giants always play safe. Then they end up with Eric Flowers. We end up with Eli Apple. We end up with Ron Dane. Be bold. Mighty forces will come to your aid. Said it a million times. Uh, yes, I stay in Fort Worth. Me and my stepdad go to the Giants and Cowboy games every year. <laughs> Cowgirl games. For, I like Fort Worth. I've been to Fort Worth. I got a lot of friends in Texas. Uh, I should move to Texas. 
Don, is it true that when you're born in Texas, they automatically give you a Glock? Is that true? And everyone has to have a gun rack. Because I'd blend right in. Kenny Pickett needs gloves because of his small hands. They say he's got small hands. They do. Gotta get some of these. <laughs> Gotta get some big mitts. I could palm a basketball when I was like, I think I was 12 or 13. I could palm a basketball. Still can I can still palm the basketball. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Kenneth, I think it went six or six in the senior bowl game. Yeah. But did you see what it led up into before that? I don't think he went six for six. I'll have to double check on that. Or you could tell oh, I don't have my Googler today. <laughs> I don't have the Googler today. Does anyone want to be the Googler today? <laughs> oh, I love these streams. that just kind of happen. <laughs> Kyle Hamilton blow. He does. Eagle's Nest. Look, e an Eagle fan. Something, something said, said, so, blah, 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 blah. an Eagle fan said something intelligent. He does. Another one of his weaknesses is zone defense. He looks lost. He looks hesitant at times when he's playing the zone. He's much better in man to man coverage. But that is another issue that I have with him. That and his tackling. But like I said, these, he could be taught. Well, when I played safety, zone defense is it's it's instinctive a lot of ways. And it's also just knowing what your assignment is and making sure you stay in your assignment. I've told the story a million times. I had I had a I had a coach, you know, country boy, big guy. He put me in the middle of the field and said, You go, he says, This is your tackle box. You go five yards this way, five yards that way, three yards that way, three yards that way, and I don't want you moving from your tackle box. And that's where you stay. Worked well. <laughs> Uh, also taking a linebacker early seems crazy. A lot of good linebackers. Obviously. Yeah, but you know what? You, you're not going to get a Devin Lloyd in the second round. But I understand what you're saying, Mike. I get it. I understand. Oh, uh, it's a red, 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 rich super chat. Uh, would you be in favor of trading five and seven, trading down and returns, getting two number ones next year and getting two seconds, two thirds? Yes, I would be against it. I'm going to tell you why. Because you still need talent this year. Yes. And you are looking, you are hopefully keeping an eye on the 2023 draft. You're hoping you're keeping an eye on that, but we need talent now. Yes. It's great to build assets, but who are you going to put on the field? I mean that, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that would be a nice return. But also, you don't know where you're picking, and when you make those trades, who everyone else is picking. So we we know we have five and seven. We know we're picking high in the second and third round. We know these things. Let's get some talent. This is a very talented draft. This is a very talented defensive draft. And I think that's what I think that's I think that's what we got to do. All right, look at that. We got a Googler here. Six for six. Zach Attack is Googling. Could you imagine a poppycocker section at MetLife? <laughs> no. This poppycocker thing, man, just took on legs of its own. <laughs> I am going to be broadcasting Sunday, and Dom is going to be in the house live from poppycockers. You're not going to want to miss Sunday's show. Sunday's a 1030 a.m. show. You got to remember, London's uh, or London or the West End is five hours ahead. So it's it's like three in the afternoon, poppycocker time. <laughs> Tim, what's your opinion? Uh, Mitch, the Alabama wide receiver. Uh, you know what? I don't have an opinion, honestly. <laughs> I'm not yet. I literally just Eagles. I just started doing my draft analysis um, this week. I've only done two players so far, and I, I'm still. I haven't even gotten to the tight end. I haven't. Excuse me. I haven't gotten to the wide receiver position. What's the kid out of UCLA? Now, the U what's the kid from USC? I can't remember him. I just started doing work on him the other day. Everyone loves guns. Everyone loves guns here. You don't even have to carry a CLRC. Oh, well, you can open carry in Texas. I know that. I know that. But I know, can, can you conceal carry? I mean, I see you don't need a concealed carry permit, but... Uh, but can can you can you conceal carry without a permit in Texas? I know you can. Like I said, I know you can open carry. 
Everything's big in Texas. I love Texas. Texas is a place that I should go to. I should live in Texas. I'd be so great in Texas. Uh, I got a gun rack. <laughs> you think cutting Logan Ryan would be a smart move instead of Bradbury? I feel I feel like Love could. Um, I like Julian Love. I think Julian Love is going to be a, is a better safety. I think he's going to be a better strong safety. I think he's going to be a free safety. Contractually, Logan Ryan is going to be an issue again, getting rid of him. Um, and again, like I said, it's going to be... I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And that's why we got to, and that's just what we have to know. We're going to lose some guys. And we're going to lose some guys that we're going to probably want to keep, but we're going to still lose them. And we're going to eat all that dead. And what I, and I think what the Shane wants to do, the Shane, he wants to take kind of do what we did, which we shouldn't have done, but kind of do what we did back in the day with OBJ and JPP and Olivier Vernon, you want to take all the dead cap money up front as much as you can. And then, you know, and then move forward on that. Cause then I think 2023, we got like 80 something million. Pick it one, six or six, red little four for six, strong six for 11, house six for nine. Willis two for four, Bailey eight for 13. Thank you. You're a much better Googler than the dummies. Okay. <laughs> Uh, looking at MCs like a pound of bacon. I see bacon coming up. We might trade out of seven, but not both. I think we might trade out of seven. I do. <clears throat> we, we might have to, depending on how much money we can cut, because everyone's got to remember, we got to worry about the rookie cap pool. Everyone always seems to forget about the rookie cap pool. Having two top five, and also, I've said this before, it's not a bad thing talent wise to have two contracts within the top 10 one year. Here's the problem. Those contracts, since our five and seven are so close, are going to mature through to, through to the end together. So you're going to be stuck with those numbers. <clears throat> Can't make too much of the senior ball. That's when Dave fell in full bloom. Oh, love is in the air. Every toy I turn around. Uh, yeah, you're right, but he's no longer there. I really saw. I really saw a dumb thing. Oh God, I really. Saw, <laughs> I saw a really dumb thing on social media. The Cowboys built the island and draft. I'm like, they built it through four. I know you've said that before, Zach. You're not wrong. I was laughing because you're not wrong. Everyone's like, oh, we'll fix this. We'll fix this draft now. Bacon, sausage, egg, toast, and home fries. So we're having tonight. I had Spanish food tonight. I did. It was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, what am I looking at? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore, guys. My head hurts. My head hurts, but that's okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm a, I have to look, I have to look my mouth. Like I said, I haven't done my research yet. Grits too. Grits would be good. London is a pop card. Drake Johnson, the running back, the running back from Michigan, uh, losing from Michigan years back. Uh, is he still in Michigan? Or is he in Michigan? Yeah, that guy is um, Drake Johnson. Yeah, he's the running back from Michigan. He's like 27. Something crazy like that. Drake London. Christian Harris, I can see that. Oh, you're Canadian. Well, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I made fun of you. I thought you were in Philadelphia. <laughs> I like Canadian bacon. Oh, the, 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 the moderator made it. Hit those like buttons, man. And if you become a online Big Blue OG member, see that cool icon, the NYG taking care of business logo, you can get one of those as your doohickey <laughs> or whatever it's called. Uh, no, nope, you don't need a license at all. Move down here. I'd love to be a guest <laughs> live sometimes. I got a lot of friends in Texas. Oh, my exes live in Texas. Oh, I would, I would blend in. <laughs> My friend always tells me that all the time. She's like, you'd blend in. She's like, let's see, you have a big truck. You like guns. <laughs> you drink beer and you barbecue. She's like, are you sure you weren't stolen from Texas? <laughs> uh, let's see here. No pork rolls. How about Taylor Ham? I'm a Taylor Ham guy. I am a Taylor Ham guy. I am. I am a Taylor Ham. How about a word from our sponsor? Oh my God. Do we need a word from our sponsor? All right. 
I usually don't do this because it's it's for the Dahmer, but you know what? We'll we'll do it in the uh, we'll do it for the Dahmer, ladies and gentlemen. We need to have a word Stop. from our sponsor. All right, everyone, it's time to head down to Poppycockers, the best in London adult entertainment on the West End. If you're looking to get your poppycock, there's only one place to go. That's Poppycockers. I did a live radio read today. Well, it wasn't they recorded it. It wasn't live on the air, but I did a radio read for the commercials. They thought that was great. They're like, you did such a great job with that. New cut. I thought it was a new cult. No, it's yeah, I got my hair cut. I wear I wear the hat a lot because when my hair gets um my hair grows very quickly. So when it gets when it grows, it just like <laughs> just go, it just does one of these. <laughs> It just does one of the, what's up, my friend? Hey, Timmy, what's your thoughts on the defensive line coach? Sorry, I got off work late. Happy Aloha Friday. Aloha. I like him. I like the fact that he also left. I mean, he, he, he 10 years in Minnesota. Yeah, he's had talent in Minnesota. But again, I like the guys that have been the position coach for a long time. Because it tells me, and he's he's he was stopped at like seven, eight, six or seven different teams. I like that about him. I like the fact that he shows that he can, you know, he he he's 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 focusing on one trait of his craft, and I like that. I like that a lot. And I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be. Uh, I think he's. I think he's going. I think he's going to blend out well. The two Super chat. Uh, Tim, salute. Drop by your office to pay the proper respects. All for all the giant fans around the world. Slip all them stinky boy losers out the door. Tuto has probably got a big game. Uh, rugby match. Is, uh, it's called a match, right? Again, like I said, I want to know where you got that picture of me. I was flexing that day, that picture. And I was tanning, evidently. I don't tan. I'm Irish. I burn. No, oh, Dan. Uh, LeVar. What's up, LeVar? I'm here. Let's talk. What do you want to talk about, LeVar? Every time I think I'll see LeVar, I think of Levert. And some Casanova. Me and Romeo ain't never been friends. Can't you see how much I really love you? Gonna sing it for you time and time again. Casanova. London Drake, I believe, is a kid. Yes, London Drake. That's the guy I'm looking at right now. Or Drake London. Drake London. That's the guy I'm looking at right now. That's the guy that's on my list. He's on the big list. Even the moderator says, Bobby Cocker's merch when we hit 10K. Let's get it done. Be sure to subscribe. Like. Subscribe. Ring the freaking bell. You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of people emailing me now wanting to become a sponsor. They want to become sponsors. They want they want to come here and they want to tell me you could see geek. Seek geeks won't leave me the hell alone. This other place, this other gambling site won't leave me the hell alone. I said no. There's only one sponsor on this channel. It's Poppy Cockers. And they don't give the they don't give the subscribers. It's 20 bucks off Seek Geeks. 20 bucks off once with the coupon code. Once. I told the lady, you give the subscriber 50 bucks off per coupon code. Then I will think about letting you be on this page. Didn't hear back. I'm not selling out. Except the black rifle comes around. Then I'm selling out. <laughs> then I'll sell out big time. I'm worried if the Giants have three fives. Yeah, I, yeah, that's true. Three out of five rookie offensive linemen. DJ in the center would go one in 15. Well, I think it would be one in 16. <laughs> Just joking. No, I'm not. Uh, since DJ doesn't have the pocket presence, hold on the ball more than three seconds. If you held on the ball more than three seconds, <laughs> I'd be shocked. I'm shocked if DJ can hold on the ball for two seconds. I'm shocked that he doesn't fumble going down. Come on. I think we all know. It's Daniel Jones at the five. It's Daniel Jones at the five. Uh, never mind. I hope to God he doesn't remind you. <laughs> I, I, Drake London can actually catch and hold on to the ball. I saw a mock from the NFL uh, right tackle where we'd be taking the five. I'm not taking. I'm not taking George at seven. 
don't like George at seven. George had a big year, his 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 first season, then dropped down exponentially. So I can't I can't do that. I can't do that. If you stick to position, what's up, Jonathan? If we stick to positional value and pass on Linderbaum, who is the center we draft on day two? So here's the thing: I don't want to draft a center. I think we could find a center at a reasonable option via free agency. I really do. Because the center to me, that's your that's your middle linebacker, that's your signal caller, that's your linchpin of the def- excuse me of the offense. So that's what I'm saying. If I I don't want to have that as a rookie position. God bless the weekends. I like the weekends. I do like the weekends. Yeah, but we wouldn't turn down Black Rifle. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. Black Rifle stock just went public. It was a good stock. It was a good day. Uh, what do you want from the 49ers and the Buccaneers for Saquon? What would you want from the 49ers and for? I would want draft. I don't want, I want, I want, if I'm trading Saquon, Lamar, if I'm trading Saquon, I want draft capital. I don't want players. I want capital. I want something that we can move and groove. That's what I want. I want, I want draft capital. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully I can build him back up. And if we don't think we can sign him or he's going to be any better, I, I would want a second round pick for him. I would want like a second and a sixth. Because you got to be greedy. People are always like, well, that's crazy. Well, you know what? You, sometimes you got to be crazy. That's what you got to think. You got to be crazy. What's up, Black Mantle? Media and fans seem to think Dable is going to show up and DJ <laughs> will play one on 11. Everyone gets cut with no idea who to sign. Yeah, I, I mean, I laugh, though, because you know what? I keep seeing the same. He's going to be Josh Allen. And that's just coming from the segment of um, <laughs> crazy. I like to refer to it. It's coming from the segment of crazy. Here's the thing. Dable and the Shane have done a good job, I believe, setting realistic expectations for this team. And that's what I keep saying. They're realistic expectations. But the problem is, and they even talk about realistic expectations. The problem is the fans are like, oh, my God, we're going to do this. We're going 12 and 5. <laughs> but the coaches and the GM, I, I like because they're like, you know, this is a work in progress. Even the Shane's like salary cap. It's bad. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Corey Cunningham will be the starting right tackle on the Pats, but play it off the bench because Judge wanted to solder. Great coaching out there. I, uh, I don't know. Is Corey Cunningham still on the team? I think we should give Corey Cunningham a shot. I thought that. I think the Rams are going to win. John, I'm going to go 35 28. I think the Rams going to think it's going to be a shootout. I really do. I'm hoping OBJ. Uh, OBJ's girlfriend is is, uh, is close to giving is close to going into labor, so hopefully he doesn't have that hanging over his head. And I hope to God that OBJ smacks the hell out of Eli Apple. It's another two time super chat reg drafts. We always say trust your eyes. What do you want? The dude can produce in workouts and real action. Combines and resumes, all BS. Forget about it. You're right. I did a, When I did the video today, you got guys like Mike, Man, Mike Mamula, the poster boy for combine do not draft. You got Jerry Rice, who people said, hey, he couldn't catch, <laughs> and he's slow. How many people caught Jerry Rice from behind, especially in his prime? And his father was a bricklayer, and Jerry worked as a bricklayer, and he had these hands. You could be wrong, but you're right. It's you don't win. You don't win. You don't win by, by you know. You got to produce on the field. <laughs> that's at the end of the day. That's what you have to do. You have to produce. And like I said, I don't care if I don't care if you can't. I don't care if you can't bench press 250 pounds. As long as you can make the tackle on the field, it doesn't matter to me. Who would be potential trading partners? You know what's funny? I was thinking about this. I mean, it's way too early. It's way too early to trade Barkley, but you know, someone like New England, I could see him going to New England. I really could. Because 
the Belichick is going to want to, is going to, with, with, uh, he's going to want to, you know, he's going to want to ground to pound. He, he's going to have to, because his quarterback is not, I'm still not a big fan. Mac Jones. Uh, you saw Cam Newton last year in person. Is he truly washed up? Let's I saw Cam Newton in that preseason game. I was in the stands. I broadcasted from the stands and I said, Cam Newton is washed up. But in the same breath, I said, but I would start him over Daniel Jones. <laughs> he was washed up. He's pretty well. He's a running, he's a running quarterback who inexplicitly just can't figure out how to throw right anymore. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you lose certain parts of your game. It's an interesting thing. Whoops. Devin Hester. What's this Devin Hester comment? Do you think Devin Hester deserved to be first ballot Hall of Famer, even though he didn't get, I don't think Devin Hester deserves to be a first time, first ballot Hall of Famer, but as a special teams player, Devin Hester was second to none returning punts and kicks. I do think that he should get into the Hall of Fame. It's a weird Devin Hester question, but that's okay. That's that's actually like that, though. Um, I do think he should be in the Hall of Fame, 100%. Maybe second or third time. That's what I'm thinking. What's up, Lou? How you doing? 67 people, only 32 likes, 34 likes. Now smash the damn like button. I love these streams where you don't know you're going to stream <laughs> for people that don't know. I, I d wasn't really supposed to be streaming today. I, I have the stream on Sunday and I put up a Friday stream and I always do it. And it's always like, well, do I want to stream? Do I want to stream? And a lot of times I don't want to stream. So I was doing work for the Sunday stream from Poppy Cockers. And I guess I activated this stream <laughs> and I'm laying on the couch and then it pops up in my notifications. Online big blue is streaming in 30 minutes. I'm like, wow. I really want to go see that guy. Rookie contracts just expired in his last year on the contract. He will be with the Giants. He, he's here. Oh, sorry. He's with the Giants. Okay, good. I like him. I would like to see him play. What player would you cut and what player would you replace them with? There's a lot of guys we're going to have to cut. LeVar, that's that's a whole conversation on its own. That's a whole conversation on its own. I think Bradbury's going to be gone. I think Blake Martinez potentially could be gone. I mean, Riley Dixon, I mean, we did sign the Swedish hammer or the Dutch hammer or whoever it was, um, who actually Riley Dixon has played better than or if, if you go through their careers. But there's going to be so many guys we're going to have to move on from Sterling Shepard. He's got a big dead cap number, but you're probably going to move on. It, it's it's going to be a mess. OBJ is going to be crying like Diva. <laughs> a little Friday reference. Friday is a good movie, man. Chris Tucker in that movie. It's easy. He, I like that movie. Do you like OBJ? Yes, I do like OBJ. I do like OBJ. I got to know behind me, this wall, I have giant pictures and stuff. And I still have my autograph signed. I have my autograph signed. I have my signed OBJ catch picture back there. I, I, I don't think they, um, I don't think you get, I think they, to me, it's just a random out of town. Yeah, he did some stupid stuff, but nothing like Ter Terrell Owens. You know, nothing, nothing along those lines. I mean, he was just kind of a knucklehead. But when you're a talented player, you can be a knucklehead. But the problem is, being a knucklehead and not producing gets you, gets you traded to Cleveland. It's another two to super chat. Giants should put me in charge of signing. After I say over, say after all is said and done, I've learned a lot during my pro career. Who's gonna get the real goat and who's a BS? We need something. Maybe Tuto Newt does need to come in here. <laughs> we need something. I got to put my faith in the Shane. I've said this before. Shane, to me, is not media savvy. And I'm very shocked by that. If you, listen, if you watch his press conferences, you watch his interviews, every, especially his interview, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. I jokingly was saying during one of my videos, that's a good question. <laughs> And I don't care if he's not media savvy. I, as long as he can find talent, cultivate talent, and bring talent in here, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. But we need something. Maybe Tuto needs to come in here and take care of business. <laughs> Maybe he needs to help clean house. He's big enough. 
He can move some furniture around, and then he could throw some players out. Manu Mamula from BC was a bust. He was a big bust. He had one good season. He had like one or two good seasons, but he was never the guy. He was never the compound hero, the combine hero that people thought he was going to be. He was a little bit of a bust. Cunningham's contract is under a million this year. We'll try to lowball and keep him. Yeah, I mean, I would keep him. I'd keep him. Uh, let's see. Tampa and San Francisco are already asking for Barkley. I can't trade Barkley now. I can't. I just can't. I can't. He doesn't have a high value right now. But I can see people asking. I would ask, too. I would try to get him on the cheap. We need to have a bidding word for Barkley and get a better return. That's what I'm saying. You got to get him to play. You got to get him to play. Is there any chance Nick Gates... Nick Gates isn't even saying if he's coming back. That's worrisome to me. Gruesome injury. Terrible injury. But he's not even saying he's coming back. Who's the starting quarterback for the Giants this upcoming season? His name is Malik Willis. You might have heard of him. He's also on the Malik Willis Express. I think I had some other Malik Willis sound effects. I don't know what the hell I do with them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, but I got, you know what? I always I always got to throw out the one because it's what it is my favorite Malik Willis. My favorite Malik Willis one. Here we go. Whoops. Why is this not working today? Uh, gotta get to work. Now you drink some water. The Malik Willis video. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, come on, come on, come on, man, come on. My name is Willie. Baby, I keep the ladies and all my friends. Oh, you gotta love the Malik Willis Express. Yes, sir. Got there. Very wavy today. What's going on, my friend? How are you doing today? Oh, it's just not my fault. I get it. What have all my? I have my Malik Willis videos. I have all these things. I don't know where anything is today. I, you know, I don't know where anything is today because oh, my other favorite Malik Willis one because we always have to have it. Malik Willis, bring in the boom. Malik Willis will be bringing the boom to MetLife. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. I appreciate that. I, I'm I'm feeling good today. My bad, Tim. I wrote it wrong. He's currently a free agent. Oh, he's currently a free agent. I thought he was a free agent. I thought he was, but I was like, oh, I was probably wrong. Yeah, uh, we could lowball him though because his current contract value is under a mil. That might not be a bad idea. It might not be a bad idea at all. What's up, Marcus? We need to re-sign Barkley on a good deal. We can't keep drafting players, not bringing them back after the rookie deals, and that's why we hit rock bottom. We had no business trading OBJ. You're right. You're not wrong. For all the knuckleheadedness from OBJ, for all the craziness, he still was a talent. And you don't give him that money to trade him, Dave Gettleman. What's up, Scotty? Scotty's in the ice house. The uh, biggest surprise for me would be <laughs> Platts and Gumber taking Barkley Sod second overall and having a crazy season. First of all, you got to love the name Platts and Gumber. I always do the movie uh, Rookie of the Year. Where the kid breaks his arm and the tendons hire too tight and he can throw the ball really, really fast. He can throw the ball like 100 miles an hour and he goes and pitches for the Cubs and is run and, and it's and the coach can never say his name. It's Rowan Gardner. And he would be Robin Boozer. Way to go, run a mucker. Uh, it's crazy things I think of. And Shane, we trust. I can think. Tim looks like a young Charlton Heston. Well, I'll take that because I think because Charlton Heston man was pimp back in the day. I've said it to Ten Commandments. Charlton Heston, that movie was pimp. And he's got one line where he's there with his wife. She's looking off to the horizon. She sees something. And Charlton Heston looks at her and goes, your eyes are as sharp as they are beautiful. I was like, Mac Daddy, back wearing a loincloth. But thank you. <laughs> uh, I like the Super Bowl patch. It's my uh, it's my Lawrence Taylor throwback jersey. I got a surprise jersey I'm going to be wearing on Sunday. A poppycockers jersey. Uh, I imagine being OBJ and being told by a bunch of serial losers you don't fit the Colt Trump and team. <laughs> not wrong. What's good? You're not wrong. What's up, Patrick? Everything's good. Oh, uh, James is here. The party started. James is here. We were already talking about Friday, James. We need three linebackers that are built like Tuto. We do. What's up, Tim? What's up, Room? We get the two toe backers. We're going to call them the two toe backers. That's what we're going to do. Uh, is there a Super Bowl jacket? It's just, it's a Super Bowl jersey. 
Is there a Super Bowl jersey or jacket? It's a jersey. It's a Lawrence Taylor jersey. Shockingly, I had it on the floor. <laughs> it was cold in the basement. 60 degrees and it's cold in the basement. Go figure that out. Uh, I think Charles Cross is a guy for us. All right. <laughs> Why? And I'm not trying to be facetious, Patrick, but I, I would like to know why. Oh, my God. We have to see Lemieux back on the O-line if Gates doesn't come back. I, I didn't like I. Everyone keeps forgetting about Matt from Connecticut. Come on. Matt from Connecticut is going to be here. Everything's going to be. Oh, we're going to be. If Matt, if Matt from Connecticut and Shane Lemieux are on the line, all Giant fans are going to be sitting like this. It's going to be all right. We're going to be okay. Everything's fine. That's what it's going to turn into. Malik Willis. Let it out. Licks rest, let out in bed life. It's going to be the last stop. It's going to be Leek Willis. What's your, let's see here. Louis Willis reminds me of Steve McNair. He reminds me of Michael Vick more than McNair. And now you can compare him more to, uh, to McNair because McNair, of course, was from Acorn State. or Acorn, yeah, it was Acorn State. Some crazy place like that. Some Division three school. Liberty actually played people with talent. The just problem was Liberty just didn't have any talent. Is Jones the worst quarterback in the division? Yes. <laughs> yes. You think Kafka is going to be the new Jason Garrett, the scapegoat for table? No, I don't think so because I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. If Dable isn't going to call the plays, I don't know if he's, I, I can't say if he is or he isn't Jason Garrett. Scapegoat. We're going to have to retire that sound effect. Um, Dable to me may call the place early in the season, if not the entire season. Hertz isn't much better than DJ. Now I gotta disagree with that. Hertz made the playoffs. Hertz does so much more with his feet. And his arm strike is not the same as DJ, but Hertz does Hertz does some stuff. Hertz can make you hurt. If Hertz can if if a certain wide receiver in Philadelphia doesn't drop that ball at the one. We're not talking about Jalen Hurts having a bad game against the Giants. Just saying. When will the Giants start to trade guys, or can they? You could trade guys. You can not going to trade them now, but you could trade them. But I don't know, we, most people are going to wait till we get rid of them and drop them. <laughs> what are your thoughts if we trade for Murray? Whatever our pick. Saul Murray deleted everything related to the Cardinals on his Instagram, even though Murray's maybe. I think Murray is just trolling. Murray wants like $50 million. A crazy number. He wants like 50 million. I don't, he's not going anywhere. The bloom's not off the rose yet with Kyler Murray, but I would trade the seven and Daniel Jones for Kyler Murray straight up. Maybe if they could throw something like a third. I think I started, I think I started acting like that the first few years of the season, first few years of the seasons. Oh my God. What's up, Patrick? Charles is the best pure pass protector in the draft. If you want to see Jones do something, we got to protect him. Jones held on to the ball the third longest. <laughs> Maybe Jones needs to get rid of the ball faster. A lot of people forget about that. Kafka will call preseason and then go from there. Here's my thing with Kafka. Eric B back in 2019, 2017, 18 and 19, whatever it was. He, all he did was install the offensive game plan. And Andy recalled the plays now, one of the biggest things when they interviewed him was the fact that a lot of people didn't like the fact that he wasn't calling the plays. My thing is this. I think, I mean, now the last two seasons, he, uh, Eric Bannery has been calling the plays. So could it be a situation where Kafka does the same thing? He, inst he works with the offense. He installs the off offensive game plan during the week, and then Brian Dable calls the plays. Think about it. Think about why I drink more. These lights are hot. <laughs> I don't trust Kafka calling the plays. I'm more comfortable with Dable calling the plays. I agree. I agree. I think Dable will call the plays. Oh, no, it's another two -time. super chat. Thanks to all the American Navy trainers who finished Hell Week training and we're all soaring and banging up worse than the actual playoff games. Nobody's complaining because I'm leading the way. Those, 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 uh, you know, it's they, they have the Navy SEAL training things. 
that, that stuff is crazy. I call it Hell Week. Someone just passed away during Hell Week too. But yeah, the uh, that's I mean that's I mean that's crazy, Tuto. So you served. Thank you for your service. I mean, it's um. I mean, yeah, if you want a military workout, <laughs> they have these military workouts too that are supposed to be they're supposed to be intensely crazy. Tuto, thank you for your service. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. It's funny when you have a stream and you didn't think about what you're gonna do on the stream. <laughs> Normally I don't think a lot ahead of time about doing streams. I also didn't get in my comfortable chair and get my pillow. Get my little pillow. Oh my god, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to salute to Tuto. The Hell Weeks looks like madness. You want to see madness, James? Go down to Philadelphia at South Street and work Fleet Week. <laughs> you want to talk about madness? A bunch of sailors coming off the ship <laughs> that have been on the ship for months. They dock in Philadelphia for a week, and it's called Fleet Week, and then they just all come to South Street where all the parties are. And that's where I, when that's when I was working as a bouncer down there. It was, you hated Fleet Week. You didn't want to work on Fleet Week. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Malik could work. <clears throat> How does anyone fix an O-line issues while building one? You get one more mobile quarterback so you don't die in the pocket. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> get a mobile quarterback. Not that hard. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Let's see. <clears throat> Boom. You want to call in for a minute? I put up the, the, the doohickey. This usually works out pretty well. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting shipped to MSC boot camp on June. Oh, Semper Fidelis, my friend. Oh, we're also we just keep it easy as Semper Fi. My father was a Marine, staff sergeant, Korea. He always talks about the core. Once a Marine, always a Marine. He always tells the great story. About you know, about the Marines and the Navy, and they, it's actually the Keith Sutherland had it in the same line, and a few good men, where he said, "I I like you Navy boys. Every time we have to go somewhere to fight, you give us a ride." My father used to say that too. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! I like these streams when there's no no rhyme or reason today. Is Daniel Jones fixable or is he just not that good? I think he's just not that good. <laughs> I think he's just not that good, honestly. I, and there's certain things I don't know if you can or cannot fix. Can you fix pocket awareness? No. Can you have fix someone sensing pressure? No. I always go back to the Arizona game where Marcus Golden tackled him coming straight at him. Not on his blind side. All he had to do was turn, look up and turn his head. And there was Marcus Golden. <laughs> and there was Marcus Golden. So I don't think you can teach that. Frank Slade. Colonel Frank Slade. Who uh, a few good. I know what you got. Uh, what was that movie? Frank Slade. That's uh, Al Pacino. The guy, the kid that became the Batman, uh, that became Robin. Scent of a Woman. That's a good movie. Scent of, Scent of a Woman. Oh, no, we're dropping another two to Super Chat. Since our team hired former Navy drill instructors for our strength and conditioning three years ago, we haven't had an IR. We've beaten the blank out of all of our opponents. You always wonder if the Giants should do something like that, if the Giants should go out. That's a really good question, Tuto. You always wonder if they should get a different strength and conditioning coach. Like all the quad injuries always confounded me. A quad injury. A quad injury to me is a muscle injury. And a lot of times I feel like it's an overusage of the muscle. And maybe Tuto can pontificate on that. And I always wondered why the NFL doesn't do something more like a uh, – like a military style training and conditioning just for like a week. I always wondered about that. 
things that make you go. Mm. DJ, DJ has zero pocket awareness. Zero is being nice. <laughs> That's being nice. I've never seen a guy who just can't figure it out. He doesn't understand how to climb the proverbial ladder in the pocket. He doesn't feel anyone behind him. Eli Manning, one of his greatest traits, even going back to his rookie season, always except for the one hit in Philadelphia, his rookie year, was James Trotter, felt, felt and sensed the pressure that he would go down like he was shot before he took for someone got a clean hit on him. Daniel Jones doesn't do that. Daniel Jones doesn't feel that. It's about feel. It's not, it's such a, I hope he is, but I'm not sure. I'm worried that he's another Sam Darnold. You might be right, John. Yeah, you, know, you might be right. I think because he's a little cross eyed. Well, I don't know if he's cross eyed. <laughs> I'll have to look. Don't forget he fumbled the ball when he got tackled in front of Golden. He did. He fumbled the ball falling down. Falling down, he fumbles. He fumbles with two hands sometimes. This is a good one. Jones plays scared if he doesn't help the offensive line. Jones, Phil Sims had horrible offensive lines early in his career. And Phil Sims never became gun shy. It's a mentality. Phil Sims got hurt all the time from 79 to 84. 84 was the first time he had played 16 games in a season, threw for over 4,000 yards. First giant ever to do that. But he played against horrible offensive lines and never got gun shy. Carl Banks said DJ looks oh, Carl Banks says DJ looks gun shy. What does that mean? It means he doesn't want to pull the trigger. John, it means he sees the guy open, but he doesn't want to throw it. He doesn't want to pull the trigger to throw that pass because he's worried about what the outcome is going to be. Eli had eyes in the back. Eli did have eyes in the back but sometimes. Anyone who knows anything about the neck injury for DJ or still, it's still a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a, it's a giant secret. We're not telling Eagle fans. <laughs> I'm the president now. Uh, it's just, nobody knows. They're saying that he could be, it's, it's so they're saying he'll be ready by August. So he'll, he'll, he'll be ready for camp. What that means. I don't know. Don't know. Maybe Giants can hear our Bonds and McGuire as a trainer just saying. <laughs> yeah, but those guys had mu no Barry Bonds never really had muscle injuries. McGuire did all the time. <laughs> that would be yeah, I don't know what could happen there. Jones is another Darnold who can't why can't people accept it? His good games were against bad, cocky teams. His accuracy is when he has a clean pocket around 50%. He's never beaten a good team in his career. Well, he did beat the Saints. You got to give him credit for beating the Saints. But, but beyond that, I, I mean, it's, um, yeah, you're right. You're not, you're not wrong. I think a lot, I think a lot of his problems, Daniel Jones is just the fact that now it's just expectations and the expectations for Daniel Jones is he has to do so much now and he's, he's, he's in year four. So now you are, you are, yes, I do believe the Saints beat themselves. You are beyond expectations now. And I think that's the biggest problem. If he does not produce something or anything right now, it's just, it's just going to be a mess. And then people are going to get him. The people are going to get on him more and more. And I've said this before. I don't think he's got the mental fortitude to be, to be a starting quarterback. I think the giants know that. I think George Martin should be in the hall. I don't know. I don't think big George should be in the hall of fame. I think Carl Banks should be in the Hall of Fame. I think Carl Banks, if he did not play with uh, Taylor and Carson's, and he would be a Hall of Famer. George's biggest problem is he toiled on bad giant teams. And then he had the nice year in 86. But I, I don't think he should be, uh, he should be in the Giants Ring of Fame or Ring, a ring of Honor. But I, I don't think he should be in the NFL Hall of Fame. Like, subscribe, hit 10,000. What are we at? What is our count? What is our count for subscribers? What is our subscriber count? Does anybody know? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Bueller. Bueller. Jeffrey. What's going on, Jeffrey? Don't care if number eight is cheap. He isn't the right guy. Move on quickly. Not keep and pray. 
he changes in something nobody has seen. Wait a minute, he's not gonna be he's not gonna be Josh Allen. <laughs> he's, he's not gonna be Josh Allen. Nine thousand three hundred right now. Is that Zach? Is that exactly nine thousand three hundred? Is that exactly nine thousand three hundred? But the guy, DJ, is such a nice person. He's polite. He speaks well. Thanks to Dukes, and he's potty trained. I've said it before. I've said it before. I've said this a million times, James. I don't care if he's a nice guy. I don't, I don't care if he kisses his grandmother and his mother and he helps old ladies across the street. Go sell insurance. I don't want you as my quarterback. I want a little Phil Sim swagger. Eli, for 16 years, was a different quarterback. I want a little Eli. I want a Phil Sim swagger. Phil Sims, I want Phil Sims getting in the face of Ronnie Lott in the middle of the field in 86. Giants not getting Malik. Well, yeah, I know. Just address the O-line and get on with it. I got to address any linebackers too, Jeffrey. But I hear you. I hear you, man. I hear you. I feel you. If Malik is gone before five, the Giants better pick up a free agent, a quarterback free agency. Can't watch another year of Jones overthrowing wide receivers on a corner fade. He does do that. He does. He doesn't not. I should rephrase it. He doesn't not do that. No, go on the page, Zach, and find out what the exact subscriber count is. I mean, am I like 9,310? 9,350? Something like that. DJ is, oh, I like that. DJ is a company man. Oh, exactly. 9,300. Exactly. DJ is a company man. I like that. He is a company man. All right. You know what? I'm going to post this one more time. Does anyone, anyone want to, uh, if anyone wants to drop on and say hello, look, I'm going to post the stream yard chat thing. You want to jump on for a minute and say hello. You're more than welcome to, because we're not going to stream for 10. We're not going to stream till 10. I don't know how long we're streaming for, but we never know. Uh, DJ should, we should trade DJ to Prudential. I think what we should do, <laughs> I think we should just get him a job at Prudential and see if they have a quarterback. <laughs> That we can get. So I get Verdelli. It's going to be a trade. If Malik Willis goes to Washington, I quit. <laughs> I quit. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want. I don't. I'm going to take my ball. And if he goes to Washington, I don't want to play no more. I'm going to take my ball and I'm going home. Oh, crying over you. Malik Willis will be the next RG3. No, I don't think he's going to be an RG3. That's still the problem with RG3 coming out of Baylor was he was never that uses YouTube API. Yes. What does that mean? YouTube API. What is social? I know what social blade is, but I don't know what YouTube API is. Uh, I don't think see the problem with RG3 was the fact that he couldn't stay healthy. He does not have the body frame as Malik Willis. They say, and I love it because Malik Willis is only six feet. Never definitely they measured him six feet. They say he's thick, which I think is awesome because that's what you want. You want a guy that you want a guy that you, you, you that can take the punishment, like Lamar Jackson. Uh, Will's decisions, uh, the Will's decision making is bad. That's the hardest thing to fix. You can only point out like two guys that haven't fixed decision making. I don't see them working out. Well, really, Josh Allen didn't work out too well. Patrick Mahomes didn't work out too well. And people that say that Malik Willis is bad decision making, I did a video the other day and I pointed out like seven games that you need to watch in reference to Malik Willis. Don't watch the highlights, watch the games. And I've said this before watch what he does well. And 2020 was a better example of him keeping his eyes downfield because he trusted his talent, but there was no talent around him in 2021. And they played top 20 teams. Just telling you. Just telling you. Uh, if Maliko is gone before five, is there any quarterbacks in the draft? I like I like the Riddler. I know it's not the Riddler, but I call him the Riddler. I like Desmond. Well, you got this elbow cough seven. What? You got this elbow cough. Evidently, the moderator <laughs> has gone on crack because I think the moderator was trying to put emoji. <laughs> elbow cough. <coughs> Is that an elbow cough? I don't know what an elbow cough is. Social Blade is a website that you use for YouTube API. Cool. I know what Social Blade is. 
It's another two time super chat. Tim, it's almost 4 a.m. here. Oh my god. And we're here on our way for way game playoffs. If we have to start a hell of another day of training, grinding to face another big team, and you're gonna win. The two toe is gonna win. How do I know this? Just look at that picture. <laughs> They should just go. And from what I remember, you're like six, four or something. I mean, go cower. They need to just cower in fear. So it's with you and all your brothers coming in at them. All the big boys. They need to cower in fear. I know I would. <laughs> Malik has done and has enough upside to work out. He's he was going to be fine. In the pros Malik's going to be fine. In the pros. I love it. Cause everyone said the same thing about Josh Allen. Everything said the same thing about Patrick Mahomes. Uh, why are the Giants so hung up on Jones' agenda? We passed on the guy he we wanted in Herbert because Jones played three good games. We passed on Fields last year. We need a quarterback to call Jones. I liked Fields. I've said it before. Fields was my guy. I said it, if we couldn't get Parsons and we couldn't get Smith, I would take Fields. Yes, true. Body frame is different, but play yes, the play style is very similar. But with his body type, I think he's going to hold out. And I think he's going to be able to, to hold, not hold that, hold up in the pros. Thanks, Zach. I had a Dom Google. <laughs> oh, my God. API is, oh, this is good. API is, okay, an algorithm to determine likes, dislikes, and subscriber count. That probably seems like something I should know about being a big-time YouTuber. Oh my god. Carson Wentz is big, has injury problems. Sometimes it doesn't no, it has nothing to do with being big. It has to do with body type. Tuto could talk about this. That's about body type. There's a certain body type that allows you, because your lower center of gravity allows you to absorb the pressure, absorb the blows. Carson Wentz was just Carson Wentz. Sometimes people are also just fragile and frail. It's not a bad thing. I mean, because sometimes that's the way people are. I had a friend that you could just look at him the wrong way and something would break on him. Online big blue mod. Yeah, not dumb. <laughs> it's a dumb moment. It's a dumb moment. Justin Herbert should be a giant. Yeah, he should be, but he's gone. He went back to school. Won't take Willis four years to be good. I, I think Willis is going to need to sit out his first year. Play him a little bit, but sent him out. It's okay. You were you used to be uh, back in the day in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you could sit a franchise quarterback for a year and no one would say boo. Now you want to sit him's like, oh, he's a bust. No, just let him just let him sit there. Eli should have been a charger. No, nah, because then we, we had Phillip Rivers. I don't think we would have won the Super Bowls. Holmes was Holmes was not already good. <laughs> Holmes was playing at Texas Tech. He was not already good. I love this revisionistic history what people have with, with Patrick Mahomes. He was not already good. People were like, there's no way this Patrick Mahomes. I remember when he got drafted because of the fact that his dad used to pitch for the Mets. I remember people were like, there's, he's a product of the system. I remember that 100%. There's no way he's going to be good. Uh, Phil Sims. <laughs> Morehead State. His senior season, I believe he threw for like 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns and 12 interceptions. That's a good giant example. That's a good giant example. Just throwing that out there. There are other quarterbacks who were not supposed to be good, who turned out to be good. There's also quarterbacks that turned out to be, that were supposed to turn out to be great that sucked. It's a crapshoot. One of Willis's first interceptions was you're trying to throw the ball away and he got hit. Malik Willis isn't bad as they say. He is, he's, he is raw. And I've said this before. He's either going to be he's either going to be Vic Ultra Light or he's going to be Ryan Leaf. There's going to be there's going to be no gray area. Who is your favorite young quarterback? I like Kyler Murray. I like Kyler Murray because he looks like a midget. <laughs> and I remember the first time my wife saw Kyler Murray play and uh, we we're watching the game and he came out on the field and she looked at me like, well, who's that little guy with the helmet on? I like him. <laughs> I like number one. He's small like me. Uh, I was like, Oh yeah. I love Kyler Murray coming out of college. I really did. And I thought I was hoping the giant, I was hoping 
Carolina, I was Carolina. Arizona wasn't going to take him. And I hope he's going to fall to the Giants. Same year as same year as uh, Eli Man, excuse me, Dan Jones draft. Because there's just something special. And everyone's like, he's too small. Doug Flutie was small. Doug Flutie was five seven. I'm a Lake Willis fan for sure, but I don't I, I don't think we're gonna draft him. I don't think we're gonna draft him either, but I think we're gonna regret it, especially if he goes to the division. Malik Willis make defensive player look silly. Giants are throwing away the future if they don't draft him. You're right, Jay. Justin Fields and Trey Lance, look out next year. Look out next year for both those guys. Uh, I mean, I like Trey Lance. I, I like I said, to me, if you watch Justin Fields against uh, the 49ers on that 30-yard touchdown run, no way he should have got that run. No way. <laughs> Malik Willis moment. What is Malik Willis ceiling? Who is the The ceiling is simple. He's Vic Ultralight, or he's going to be Ryan Leaf. I don't think there's going to be any gray area with Malik. And that's the scary thing about it. How will Shane free up 40 million? A lot of cast kind of can't wait to get rid of this. Well, first thing he's got to do is figure out how he's going to get that 20 negative 20 million by March 16th. That's the first thing we need to That's our first plan. That's the first, li- that's the first thing that we need to do. Should chain Willis to Eli Manning for a year. I, I, you know, I agree. I think Eli Manning would be, I really do think Eli Manning would be a good quarterback coach. I really do. And McAdoo won at Mahomes. He did, and he wasn't wrong. He was not wrong at all. Jeffrey Abbey, don't forget about Jordan Love. If Rodgers can actually go to Denver, oh, I'm worried. I actually don't like Jordan Love. I don't like, I don't like Jordan Love coming out of college. Allen was considered a project as well. I didn't believe in him. I admitted it. I thought, personally, and you can go back and watch the videos, I thought Josh Allen had the biggest upside in that draft. I hated, I was not a Sam Darnold fan. I hated Josh Rosen. I thought that I thought that Josh Allen at the end of the day was going to be a better pro. I didn't think he was going to be this, but I thought he was going to be a better pro. I think the Giants will draft Kenny since we like Kenny's. <laughs> yeah. Fields will not succeed. He's not that good. I don't know. I don't know. I think he is. Yeah, Jeffrey, 20 million. 20 million. 20 million. When I bitched and moaned in August about this, people were like, you're just so dumb. Who's the dummy now? Uh, that's not this that's not the line from the movie, but his <laughs> I believe in Josh Allen and Lamar more than other quarterbacks in 18 because they were a definition of grit and hard work. They had more adversity to face. I'm happy. I was right about them. I liked, I liked Lamar coming out of the draft. I wanted the Giants to draft Lamar, but I don't think Lamar would ever be Lamar if he didn't go to Baltimore. I really don't. Kenny Pickett is a Jersey kid. I don't care if he's a Jersey kid. I don't care if he's from Pluto. I want Malik Willis. Wasting a lot of time and money on this. We are wasting a lot of time. It's time to get away from him. It's time to move away from Dan Jones, but we never I mean, I don't know. Tim, I see Evan Inger come back at a one year prove it deal. I guess I wouldn't mind that because this is the staff. Couldn't get something out of him, but at the same time, I'm done with him and can't stay. I have already said a hundred times if Evan Ingram wanted to come back on a prove it deal, I would take him. Why? Because we need a tight end. He is going to be maddening, but we need a tight end. Uh, Kyler Murray gives me a weird vibe. I mean, you don't have to date him. It's okay. I like Zach Wilson. I think he's got a ton of... I'm not a big Zach Wilson fan. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not a big Zach Wilson fan. Maybe. Maybe. Something will change, but I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm not a big fan of... I think people... Think we are in the NBA with a soft tax. Well, dude, Zach, the, the, the salary cap is a living, breathing thing. The numbers don't matter. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, Zach, you're right. Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram. He's the king of the almost catch. Uh, that was another one of my favorite sound effects. I, I got to retire all my sound effects because of the fact that, I mean, he's going to, he's going to be gone. I mean, you gotta, I mean, I gotta retire this one too. Are you a big man? No, nope, not that one. He's the king. He's the king of the almost catch. You have to retire that one too. 
I believe in the front office and coaching stuff. So do I. Please don't get rid of me. The first time we got competent staff. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What's going on here, Levance? Thank you for the Friday night stream, my brother. Much appreciated. God bless you. I'd like to take credit. <laughs> I really would like to take credit for this stream, but my stupidity is what I needs to take credit for. You need to thank my stupidity, but not knowing how to make yard stream, stream yard, or else go work. <laughs> but you're very welcome. When I saw it was up, I was going to take it down. That's what she said. But I was like, uh, well, I'll, I'll go through it. Will Daniel Jones be successful on another team? He might. There's a guy in an Odell Beckham jersey. He might. He might. It's a possibility. Maybe he just needs to change the scenery. Warriors, come out and play. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Remember the name. Can you dig it? War Chief. And that whole Warriors come out and play thing. That was that guy ad libbed it. That guy's been, and he's like a great character actor. He's been in so many other damn movies too. Do you think Joe Burrows will win multiple Super Bowls? I think he's got to try to get this first one out of the way. I don't know if Cincinnati is a team of destiny. I don't know if Cincinnati is a team that's going to have a long run because they don't have the offensive line. While their defense plays up to potential at times, I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, I want say I want I want I, I want Bradford to get a ring. I really do. He's one of those guys that you want to see get a ring. Do you think the Giants will run multiple defenses since we can't run a three four true three four attacking? No. Here's what I think. Here's what I think about the Giant defense. I think Wink is going to say I don't care. Because he seems like that kind of guy, and I think he's going to try to run a 3-4 attacking scheme no matter what, in my opinion. DJ Max says, Ryan, 10 year type of player is really good. Never elite, but okay. I could see that. I think he would do that. I still think the ja uh, I think the Sharks can make sure the best at yeah, Ojolari. Yeah, you know, I do think that. I think Ojolari. I, I mean, uh, Ojobu. Sorry, not Ojolari. <laughs> I was thinking Ojalari in my mind. But you're right with the right if they're right trained, the right staff, I think anyone can succeed, succeed and su excel if they have the potential desire and the will. Friday Night Lights is a great show. I rewatched it a month or two. I've never seen Friday Night Lights the show. I was doing more Friday Night Lights the movie. Booby Miles. <laughs> And I just like, because I call them booby. Uh, uh, they better not remake the room, that movie, The Warriors. They better not remake The Warriors, man. That's, 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 a, uh, that's, a, that's a cult classic, man, with the orphans and everything else. I like the guys that were dressed up as the Yankees and the guys on the roller skates. There were so many, like, great character actors in that movie. And then the lead guy who became the war chief, he only really he was a, he was a model. Then he only only did one other movie or two other movies after that. And one of the movies after that was a really bad movie. Uh, what was it? Mega Mega Force, which was a high budget science fiction action movie, which just totally tanked, destroyed his career. <laughs> I remember when people said Burroughs was a one year wonder in LSU, and they wanted to. Uh... Someone's buying. <laughs> Now he's leading the freaking Bengals to success. Yeah, people blowing me up. Don't they know I'm streaming? Don't they know I'm streaming here? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Oh, what is this? This channel needs to blow up. Seem, he seems to be my favorite guy to listen to now. Well, thank you, Andrew G. Man. Why wasn't I always your favorite guy? We're blowing up a little bit. We're doing good. We're hitting 10K. I'm shocked we're hitting 10K. I really am shocked. I'm late. T. Brad. What's up, T. Bradley? T. Brad. T. Bone. The T. Bradinator. What's up, T. Brad? T. Brad's writing the book. 
about Malik Willis for everyone. I like the Giants. I like the new Giants coach staff, but I'm uh, not over. I'm not overreacting either, John. I've said this before. I like the fact that they're not hiring failed NFL head coaches. I like the fact that I'm excuse me, college former college head coaches. I like the fact that they're bringing in guys that are career positional guys, and I think that's exactly what we need. Just like Tannehill and Jones can throw three picks in one game when it matters. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Giants need a new era brand flex hat roll. Hats roll. They do. They actually do need a new hat. I hope they do have a new hat. Oh, let's see here. The Lizzie's. <laughs> the Lizzie's, man. I remember the Lizzie's too. Uh, so well, uh, so well have Dexter and knows Leo at engine. Who is the other engine? Who's our lineman? That's going to be the problem, but it doesn't matter. I think he's that arrogant. I think he's that cocky. And that's what I want. I want, I want someone like that. I want someone that's going to be arrogant. I want someone that's going to be cocky. I want some, and we've called it before. It's going to be the wink attack. Warning, warning. It's the wink attack. Warning, warning. It's the wink attack. That's what I want, no matter what. Don't forget the Lizzie's. I forgot about the Lizzie's. Uh, they went to the party and the chicks tried to kill them. Yeah, tried to knife them. <laughs> it's a great movie. Warriors is a great movie. You know, it's it's one of the it's one of those films. You, you either love the Warriors or you hate the Warriors. Uh, you see what you get when you mess with the orphans. <laughs> yeah, man, I love what he shows the press club. Yeah, man, the orphans. Yeah, you guys are really heavy. <laughs> they use such great words in the seventies. Do you think Roche will fill the new scheme or will he be? Tra- I think I think he'll be fine. I think I would like to see him uh, paired with Ojolari. <clears throat> Did you miss the Willis Express? You never missed the Willis Express, my brother. <laughs> Willis McExpress, Willis McExpress, Willis McMuffin, Willis Express is always wrong. How much does Soldier leave and take off the books? I think we. I don't think there's much dead cap number. Where's Where's Zach? Where's my Googler? I think it's like six or eight million now. It's not going to be bad. Malik Willis, a love story. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Only number eight in Davis Webb's heart quarterbacks for 20. No, come on, Jeffrey, man. We're going we're gonna to get this taken care of. We got it figured out, man. Come on. We could do it. We could do it. I have a conspiracy theory. Oh, great. I, I like conspiracy theories. Uh, Belichick sent his assistants to gather intel on other teams so he could prepare when they play them next, and that's why we hired him back in New England. Huh. That's interesting. That's an interesting theory. Andrew G, I've never seen your channel before. Sorry. Well, go watch my videos. <laughs> They're awesome. And and lucky for you, I'm not arrogant. They're great. I'm just kidding you, Andrew. It's called sarcasm here. <laughs> we have a lot of sarcasm. For those, I, I don't think Andrew knows. We have a lot of sarcasm. And we've had issues with people thinking that I'm being serious. So we've had to invent. We had to, we had to invent a new alert. Warning, sarcasm. Warning, sarcasm. Warning, sarcasm. So when you hear that, sarcasm. That's when you know it's all sarcasm. sarcasm. Will there be money to upgrade our O-line? Are we stuck with it? We're stuck with the draft. We're stuck with the draft this year. That's all we can. Can you take it? And he shot him. <laughs> he shot him. Uh, keep getting bloopers. <laughs> Online Big Blue. You've watched football for a long time. Is Burroughs a generational talent? I will tell you, I will tell you this. I think he is. I think I think Burroughs and I think Trevor Lawrence, if he's put in the right situation are going to be the two quarterbacks that we're going to be talking about. Like when people used to talk about Montana and Aikman, I think that's the, I think that's, 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 that's the kind of thing. And is Burroughs better than Mahomes? No, not yet. Not yet, but I think he can be, but I think with Burroughs' issue is you got, you got to worry about the injuries. The Warriors had several deleted scenes, never only seen the TV broadcast. I didn't know that. I like deleted scenes or extended scenes. I like those. Bell, I, I do. I like deleted scenes. Uh, do you think the wink will get something out of the king of the almost sack? 
Well, here's the thing. I, I don't think that King of the Almost, I don't think Leonard Williams fits into the system uh, of Wink. I really don't. I don't think he's the type of defensive end that we need. And he's really not a defensive end. <laughs> Davis Webb. <laughs> you got to love Davis. D- Listen, the Davis Webb sign. I'm going to talk about the Davis Webb sign. The David Webb signing. I'm going to talk about that real quick. They brought Davis Webb in to teach the Dable offense. Davis Webb, evidently for his lack of talent, is a really good film guy. He might be. He's, he's almost like a player coach. And I think that's why they're, that's why they're bringing, I, I think it could be like a Cooper rush where he doesn't make it. So Bill Belichick runs sons through the art of war. I shouldn't put anything past him. He probably did run. I've read art of war thoughts on Flores allegations. I've, we've done this before. We've said this before. I, I, I don't think the giants are inherently racist, but some things make you scratch your head. And I do think they tried to circumvent the Rooney rule by bringing in floors at the end because they had a, they had to interview two external candidates, minority candidates. So I do think they use them as a checkbox. Do I think it was racially motivated? No, but they did have, they did. I think they did kind of break the spirit of the rule. I do. I hope we get Willis. He needs to sit for a year. The problem is within the two weeks into the season, New York fans will be (laughs) demanding Willis to start and throw in the wolves. I agree. I think that's going to be the biggest problem. People are going to want to see Willis. They're going to want it because he was drafted in, let's say, fifth or seventh. They're going to they're going to want to see him. But we just need he needs just he's just watch four million in debts. Yeah, I knew it wasn't terrible. Four million with avoided year. I thought so. Is this what you and OGR had a fight? Is this is this why you and OGR had a fight? What was the question? Why do we have a fight? No, OGR, 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 and I had a disagreement two years back. Disagreement, and he was gracious enough, and I'm really going to say that, and I've said this a million times. He was gracious enough to come on to this channel like a he quit to spend more time with his kids, which is very, which is very, you know, you you have to respect that. And, uh, but he, um, he made a video that I didn't like, and then he went low and then being the guy I went, I went lower (laughs) and then I went like below the ground. Cause I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like that. Um, and then, you know, we, he, he turned off his channel because he was going to, you know, he's spending time with his children. Um, and then he came on he came on a couple of weeks back and um, he actually apologized for, for the video. And he said, he, you know, he, he probably shouldn't have went about it the way that he did. And, and I apologized for being kind of an a-hole. Cause like I said, when I get attacked, or I feel like I'm attacked. I attack back twice as hard. And um, that's what she said. And at that point in time, <clears throat> it turned out that we, we, we actually agreed on a lot of things. And we had a lot of the same points. And funny as this seems, <laughs> he's been on the show a couple more times. I enjoy talking to OGR. We text each other. <laughs> I just talked to him yesterday, you know, and not even about football. And that's just the way life is. <laughs> you know what I mean? And honestly, I'm going to have him back on again. And I'm going to have him on a couple times because I think that he's got, he's got, um, he's got good takes. He understands the sport, and he doesn't go crazy with his um, with with some with you know he 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 he's grounded in reality and the way he thinks about things about the Giants, which is you know which is perfect, which is what I like because I like I said that to that to me it makes you a good fan when you understand that everything doesn't always go right and everything always doesn't go wrong. It's 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 just the way it is. Like they say, you can win or lose, but are you going to win or lose like a man? Or how are you going to do it? But I like I like OGR. <laughs> Never thought I would say that two years ago. Never thought I'd be texting him, talking to him outside outside of the YouTube. And, but he's a real nice guy. That's like cop. Everyone's got this thing about cop. I like cop. I did a show with cop a, couple, a year ago. Not even a year ago. Probably less than a year. And I like cop a lot. Because he's genuine, he's being what he wants to be, and at the end of the day, he's a super nice guy. (laughs) 
mean, I had a great conversation with him before and after the stream, and I still DM him a couple times on Twitter, but he's another guy. He's another guy that's just, he was just another, guy, just another great guy. Another great, fun guy. This channel is fun. Football movies, lines, pop cockers. What else do you want? What, else, what more do you want? T Brad. T Brad, I got to have you back on again, too. I enjoyed having the T Brad on. I enjoyed the T Brad. The Warriors, Cyrus is shot. That is such a great movie, though. I wanted Herbert. I wanted Herbert, too. I wanted the duck. I was all, I was all in for suck for the duck. Well, not that way, but you know what I mean. Uh, do we even have two starting offense? Well, we have Andrew Thomas and we have some, yeah, so we should be okay. Patrick. No, we got one right now. Best case scenario for the draft trade. One of them use both of the offense into Yeah. I'm not, I can't, uh, Maximus Maximus. Glad to get it. I can't take, I can't do two offensive linemen in the first round. Sorry, Maximus Decimus Radius. Frost. Sometimes it makes the blade stick. <laughs> Great line. Great line in the movie. Great line in the movie. Uh, they used to show Warriors on channel picks back in the day. Picks man was great. And then you would run home from school to watch picks. WPIX, because they had the good cartoons on like at 3, 3 o'clock. And then they had this thing where you could call in. You played video games on the TV. And it was from a television. It was like a space game. And you would go, picks, 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 picks. Every time you said picks, it was shoot. Then you win a prize. Yeah, I'm from Jay Z. What's up? Uh, Webb's there to teach. I don't know what he might. I was thinking about. I, like I said, we've talked about that, T. Brad. I think he is there. I get the sarcasm, ma'am. You're the best. Thank you, Andrew. I am the best at sarcasm. I know. I just like you. Have when you said you haven't watched a lot of the channels. I'm just making sure. Yeah. That you know. I don't know. I don't know. Out of all the giant channels on YouTube, you're far by the best one. Well, yeah, that's true. Warning, sarcasm. <laughs> Sorry. Facts, Maximus. You just got to love the name Maximus. 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 And I just love him because Maximus. Maximus. When he comes, when he comes up and he goes, I, I don't want to fight. <laughs> Enough, whatever. I don't fight. Uh, Malik lost to Syracuse. Yeah, he did. If you can't beat Syracuse, what do you say? Syracuse is pathetic football. A lot of people lost to pathetic football teams in college, and he lost on fourth and one. And he did it tr pretty much by himself. Uh, that's what she. That's what she said. We have that button still. Do, 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 do. That's what she said. Oh my God! I see. I thought you had disagreement because he didn't understand sarcasm. No, he didn't understand. He. No, it was, it was, it was just, it was just, you know what it was? It was just, it's water under the bridge. We hugged it out. James Williams was here for it. He was the moderator. We hugged it out. It's all good. It is all good. I'm in the more, my, I am in the minority that wants no part of Wilson, the giants. You're not in the minority, Maximus. There's a lot of people that don't want giants. They don't, a lot of people don't want Malik. Uh, what is it that the giants fans are seeing in him, especially as he played against, he has played against powerhouse schools. <laughs> he has <laughs> go back and watch 2020, 2021. The potential is there. The greatness, the ability to have greatness is there. Could it be a total washout? Hell yeah, but it's there. And sometimes you just have to be bold. Um, but, 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 but Willis has done ton more potential than DJ. I think he does too. Uh, are we keeping from, I know. Cause I think we're going to keep Davis Webb. I think from Davis Webb at least has an arm from I've said this before, but from poor from gets out there, commands his troops, gets in the huddle. Gets everyone up to the line quick. Calls out the mic. Hikes the ball. Looks fluid in the pocket. And then throws. And it's one of these. <laughs> I mean, that, that first throw, man, to the sideline, I was like, oh, my God, I've never seen a ball take that long to get to the sideline. I actually ran out and got something to drink and came back, and the ball was still floating. Ah. Uh. But, but what are your thoughts on Fisk Vegas? I don't know Fisk Vegas, so I have no thoughts. 
Why do people not like cop? I don't know why people don't like cop. Some people, some people think he's loud, but I'm loud too. Hmm. Let me know where my brother, you know, my friend, you know, T Brad, you're going to be on T Brad. You should come on Sunday. The big stream, the big Super Bowl stream, 1030 Sunday morning. Come on Sunday, T Brad, if you can make it. You too, James, you need to come on too. You need to come on too, James. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Which quarterback do you guys like in 2023? If you don't want one now, I can't look at 2023. Everyone always looks in 2023 and above. I can't look that far in the future. Because Lord knows what people are going to be, what, what's going to happen. I don't care for Fisk Vegas too much. He's a little too passionate for me. Okay. I don't. It seems, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never watched him. Sometimes passion is good. Misdirected, misdirected passion. That's the problem. Great movie, period. Gladiator? <clears throat> Who are you? My name. My name is Gladiator. And he says, how dare you turn your back to me? Turn around and take off your helmet and tell me your name. My name. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Son to a murdered. <laughs> was, was a father to a murdered son. Husband to a murdered wife. And I'll have my vengeance in this life or the next. Great movie. Great movie. Everyone thought Will Hernandez was the answer. Now they're two years old. Yeah, Will Hernandez just not pay. After that rookie season, Will Hernandez just kind of went down the tubes. And he lost his cool and his composure in that second sophomore season. They never seemed to regain it. He's always trying to push someone after the play. And that's just dumb. How good would my would my comparison be in Wink's defense? How good how good would my comparison be in Wink's defense? I don't know what your comparison is, Jeff. Did I miss a call? Did I miss a comment? I probably did. I gotta go car shopping tomorrow. <sighs> be car shopping. Leasing cars are great. Then you gotta go get another one. <sighs> I gotta get Burley and do that. <laughs> There's a place down the road. I mean, there's a place, not down the road, but there's a place here. It's a it's a barbecue place. They're open tomorrow. <laughs> They're open tomorrow for the Super Bowl. I'm going to get some barbecue in the morning. I'm going to get some barbecue. I'm going to go look at cars. And then, I don't know, we're going to do something else. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about that. Just, <laughs> uh, never in any universe does the Giants finish any worse than the Jets. Yeah, that's true. We should never draft any worse than Look, let's get those likes and subscribes up, guys. I need to get 100 likes. I don't know why. Russell Crowe as Maximus Decimus Meridius. The draft is loaded with D-line. The draft is loaded with D-linemen, and that's what we need to get. That's exactly what we need to get. Speaking of WPIX, if you didn't watch the Magic Garden, if you sing for me, tee -hee -hee -hee, and I'll sing for you, too. Yeah, I watched the Magic Garden. Those two ladies were freaky. And I still remember that he got, he got Liberty ranked by the select. He was ranked Liberty. The first Liberty was in the top 20 in 2020, but people seem to forget about that. The late steam, the late steam, very good T Brad. That's right. He didn't play against power. He played division three, acorn state. <laughs> WPIX also had the honeymooners, the odd couple and Barney Miller. I was never, in, I was a kid. I never watched those. When WPIX was on. Well, they, well, they also had the Yankee games. Uh, we are going through a total washout right now. Fans are wor fans are worried about Malik Willis. Can't wait for him to play and develop. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't know. I don't think we're getting Malik. Neither does Jeffrey now. But it would be nice. It would be nice. Tim, what's your Instagram? My Instagram is uh, Tim Online Big Blue is awesome. Greatest channel on YouTube at Instagram.com. I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> I got a Twitter. My Twitter, my Twitter is Online Big Blue One. That's Online Big Blue One. T Brad, email me at Online Big Blue at gmail.com. Just email me. Online big blue at gmail.com. I'm Batman. It's I'm Batman. 
There you go. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. I got a TikTok page too. And a and a fan only page. Only fan. I got I got all that stuff. Yeah, but T Brad, email me online big blue at gmail.com. Everyone just talk about yourselves. I'm talking to T Brad for a minute. Uh let's see. Not much in 2020 besides Bryce Young. Bryce Young, I worry about a little bit. He's he's a little slight of build. Unless he's gonna fill out. I don't know. I don't know. Would you draft an offensive lineman and an offensive tackle in the first round and then another? I, no, I would not take one. In, I would not take two in the first three picks, but I I could take a linebacker. I would rather go linebacker or offensive tackle, but I would not then take an, I would not take another one in the next round. That's just, that's just me. Fisk is a DJ lover. Who you going to love by your lover? All right. <laughs> Buying cars off people you don't know about cars and how to fix them is the best. <laughs> I don't know. I like going to, uh, I like car shopping. <laughs> I don't like the actual shopping for the car. I like the negotiation portion of it. Because people always get, people always go to me, why do you get such great deals? Because I'm. you got to be willing to walk out. You got to be willing to leave. And then after you leave, you have to be willing to go back when they call you and say, okay, we're going to give you the deal now. <laughs> I had one guy made me sit at the dealer. I told him what I wanted to pay. He's like, no, I can't give it to you. I can't give you the car for that. So I said, all right, fine. So I left wife and I, we left, got home, sat down at my office, sat down at my desk. The phone rings. It's the car dealer. And he goes, he goes, okay, we're going to, we're going to give it to you for that. And I said, well, that deal's gone. <laughs> That's tough. So we're done with that. I said, I want a thousand dollars off. He goes, why? I said, because I want another thousand dollars off now because you made me drive home. Shockingly, he gave me another thousand dollars off. <laughs> Sorry, I meant Michael. But I meant Parsons. Talk to text. I hate talk to text. I hate that, especially when you're driving. Fisk lost me when he said Jones would have been the number one pick in the draft if he went to a big name school. Well, he's not right about that. He's wrong. <laughs> Sean Penn, Bad Boys, that's a good movie. Goes to the prison, the Viking, Eric the Viking, and the other guy, uh, what, Isai Morales is in that movie. Another good another good movie. I haven't, seen that. I haven't seen Bad Boys in a long time. He runs the prison. I like when he beats the guys up with the, um, uh, he puts the cans of soda in the uh, pillowcase. I can't remember where the blonde Viking guy is. He's in a ton of movies as well. Oh, he was also, he was also the prison guard in Sha uh, uh, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Do you know where your likes are? Evidently not on the fucking page. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. until I hit 75 and then I got to go to bed. Cause I got to go car shop. That was a good one. <laughs> hey, El Gigante. What's up, my friend? Jersey stand up giant nation. We're all y'all. Malik is coming for you. I had some good food tonight. El Gigante. I had some good food, some real good food tonight. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> oh my goodness. If Malik is taking it too, would you take uh, tips? If he fell to five, Hmm. Hmm. I probably would. I had to think about that, but I probably would. Timothy, Tim's only fan, only fan, not fans only. Only fan is full of Malik Willis. I, no, that's my Twitter. That's online big blue one at Twitter because somebody has online big blue. Warning, sarcasm, warning, sarcasm. I can do it for you. I don't feel like pushing the button. That's what she said. If they want a guaranteed Super Bowl, the Rams or Bengals should sign me. Well, it's a too little too late. If Malik, yeah, if Malik, let's see, if Malik, Neal, and Tibbs fall at five, who would you take? I'm taking Malik. I mean, I probably shouldn't. I probably should take Neal. <laughs> I've got to take Malik, man. Jones is going to tear his ACL helping all these across the tree when he needs a backup plan. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. The Giants have to draft the quarterback this year. We can't go in the season with Daniel Jones, broken neck, and Davis Webb. No, we can't. 
tweet that was the other guy no we can't you're right uh blood and blood in blood out bound by honor is a classic movie most have never seen i don't remember blood in blood out i don't remember that i don't remember that at all maybe I don't know, maybe i did see it but i don't remember nope i haven't seen it i have not seen that movie which one is blood in blood out here i gotta look it up here for a second because benjamin bratt i think was in that No, I never saw this movie. I'm looking it up. I never saw this movie. I've heard of the movie before, but I've never seen it. I have to watch that. I got to watch that. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I almost got fried in Mufungo tonight. I almost did. I did forget the Tostones. <laughs> I got in trouble. I got the red beans, but I forgot the Tostones. Real geniuses, Val Kilmer. That is another great class. That is a classic cult film as well. The um, and with the guy, the blonde guy with the glasses. You know, Val Kilmer is like the cool genius. He's like the he's like the Top Gun too. Not Top Gun. Uh, top Secret. When Val plays a secret agent. <laughs> You look so good. Yes, Blood and Blood Out, classic movie. Good. I did not see Blood and Blood Out. I have not seen that. I am shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. It must be a 90s movie. If it was an early 90s movie, I probably didn't see it. Well, I probably, I saw a lot of early 90s movies, but uh, I have to watch it. I, I am actually, uh, I'm actually Googling it so I can put it in my... Um, what I do is I, I'll Google things and then I'll put it in. I'll, 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 uh, what's it called? I'll text it to myself. So I'll have to, I'll have to watch that. Empanadas are good, man. I love empanadas. Bring back OBJ, Justin Pugh, Landon Collins. Uh, Landon Collins, no. Justin, I would bring back, and I would definitely bring back OBJ, but I can't bring back Landon Collins. Landon Collins can't cover. <laughs> can't cover. You can't find it. Uh, I have the DVD. <laughs> DVD. Oh, Bloodsport. That's a good one. No, treat, uh, no Retreat, No Surrender. That's not a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. That's another good movie. I laugh because um, I just watched Malibu's Most Wanted. That movie cracks me up. That movie makes me laugh. Especially, um, uh, oh, Kickboxer. Kickboxer is another good one. Jalapenos are good. I like jalapenos. Um, but I like that movie. I, I like Malibu's Most Wanted. <laughs> it makes me, I don't know, it makes me laugh with T-Brad. Not T-Brad. <laughs> B-Rad G from Malibu. He runs up in, he runs up in the boo. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let me see here. I also want Malik Wells, Devin Lloyd. If we keep Corey Cunningham, we'll have a right tackle set and we can build the inside line for later rounds. I would, like I said, I would do, I would do, um, I would do that. I would take Malik Wells and Devin Lloyd. I've already said that. I've did it. Wait, I did a video about that. Uh, you bleed like mailing. That's another good line. <laughs> that's another good line. Oh my God. That's another good line. Uh, Giants finally removed all the floppy disks from the, no, they, they didn't remove the floppy disk. They removed a three and a quarter <laughs> I'm a three and a half. It's five and a quarter. So they took out the three and a half. Now Marianne or ginger. And I, I'm not into white girls. Um, and I'm happily married. You look so good. Uh, I spelled that wrong. My bad y'all. It's okay. James, we're going to forgive you this time. Ain't my kind of hype, baby. You and me together. Uh, what's up, Tim? What's going on, Michael? Using my rotisserie for the first time. Ooh, making pork loin action. Ooh. What kind of rotisserie did you get? What's, your, what's, the, uh, what's the brand that you're using? I like rotisseries. I'm a barbecue guy. But I, I good, good rotisserie chicken is a... Uh, is is what you call it. this is a good way to go? They're upgraded from CDR. <laughs> yes, they still have this. They still have the CDR. You should ask Dom to join the show, play the Poppy Cocker themes, then Wonka him. Everyone loves when I Wonka Dom. <laughs> Poor Dom. Dom is another guy. People are like, you must have known Dom for years. No, 
I met Dom through this. I met Dom through. Yes, I was really singing full force. Uh, I met Dom through this channel. And it was funny though, because Dom is another guy. He's I've known Dom for like over a year now, and I've never met him in person, but I FaceTime with him. We do shows together. I mean, it's just um, it's just weird. I mean, YouTube is weird, man. I never thought I would make friends or have outside relationships with people on YouTube. And you know, like like OGR and Dom and and uh, James Williams and a couple other people. Um, it, it's just crazy. It's, it's just insanity. <laughs> And it's funny though, because a lot of times I've actually made relate, you know, I tried to have friendships with some people, other content creators, and some people just kind of screw you. And so I sent one a laptop <laughs> and that worked out real well. Doesn't talk to me anymore. Ah, uh, but you know what? It's just cool. Yes, I was singing full force. I, I have house party stuck in my head. <laughs> I have house party stuck in my head today. What is this? What is this called? It's a what is this called? Emma Lagasa Power 360. I special I special. Oh, then you'll you'll I have a uh, I have a big green egg. If if you're if you're into smoked food, I, you should know what a big green egg is. I have one in the, in the backyard. I need to get a second one because I got a large. I should have gotten the extra large, but I love you. I mean, I've had that for years and I still I mean I use it in the winter. <laughs> I made uh, hamburgers and steak the other day when it was like 23 degrees. <laughs> Draft party up. Yes, we are going to be having a draft party. We are going to be having the draft party at Poppy Goggers. I have a CD and VHS player. So do I. I have a DVD player, too. Not into white girls singing full force. Yes. Uh, your points will have to. <laughs> your points went up exponentially tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. Ain't that kind of. Bad? Yeah, I just got the song stuck in my head again. You and me together. You. And I can actually do the whole kid and play dance. <laughs> just, it's just wrong. Uh, did you try to go live for NFL Talk from Across the Pond? You know, it's funny. We weren't trying to go live. We were trying to test the connection to get back into the channel. And, and then it stayed active. And I tried to delete it. And I don't know what happened. Pipe. Oh, party at Michael's Rotisserie. I'm down with that. Come on. We'll get some rotisserie from Mike. Do we still have Billy Con uh, Billy Price under contract? Zach, Google that. I think we got. I don't know if we got one more year left for Billy Price. That was a garbage signing. Paul Simon, Julio, and mean down by the schoolyard. I'm not into Paul Simon. I'm not into Paul Simon. I don't know why. Simon and Garfunkel was okay. I have a weird, um, eclectic, I guess, movie taste. I'm, I've said it before. I'm, I'm old school hip hop. I'm old school rap. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the day. You know, you know, Apache, jump on it. Uh, hunga, hunga, hunga. <laughs> you know, I, I, so. I'm just, I'm just weird. I want the Giants to bring back OBJ, Justin Pugh, Dalvin Thompson, Tim's favorite place. I, I miss Isaac Yatem. <laughs> I miss Isaac Yatem. I thought Isaac Yadam was going to have more of a um, a feel this year for the game and play more of a role. And boy, I was wrong with that. Me too. I have a VHS. What have we got here? 2022 Bryce will earn a base salary of 10 million while carrying a cap hit. To Whoa, I didn't know that. Well, we're screwed on that one. Uh, what's his, um, Zach, what's his, what's his, ca what's his trade cap number? What's his trade cap number? Oh, uh, I have Indiana Jones trilogy on VHS. Boom. <clears throat> James blew it up for everybody. James just dropped the bomb. Oh my God. Let's see the Giants. Yes, we know the Giants should move Grant. <laughs> Jeez, Grant. If it wasn't you telling me they should move, I wouldn't know what to do. I'm educated, fool. My money on my mind and ten dollars in my hand. We were just talking the other day. I was just talking about the other day about Sir Mix a lot and how his problem was everyone always remembered Baby Got Back, but no one ever remembers, you know, like some great stuff like my hoopty, my hoopty's rolling tailpipes dragging. He don't work and my girl keep nagging six nine Buick deuce keep rolling one hubcap because three got stolen. They don't remember shit like that, but they remember baby got back a new CD player. <clears throat> new cards don't even have come with clip them standing anywhere. 
That's not true. The last two cars I have had CD players in. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can't even smoke. Do competitions to a show a guy from Queens can compete with the Southerners. I don't know, man. Southern barbecue. <clears throat> I like I like barbecue. I love barbecue. I always wanted to do the the egg fest where you go out there and you compete with the big green egg guys. Because I always think my barbecue is the best. Who are you trading price for? I, I nobody. I'm just kind of curious to see what the, what the trade value would have been if we can get rid of them. I think the northern. I think the north already showed the south a few things. Just uh, I don't know if that. Hey, oh, uh, I'll be out. Uh, I'll go out school uptown Saturday night. Sydney Point. Oh, I go. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> I have a couple of VHS from my teenage years. The ones that come in the big box with the black. Oh my God. Thank you for the exact. Yeah. Zach is uh, Zach is really working it today. Zach. I do need to get that information right now on what the trade value is on that contract base in your face, death row. How low can you go on eight track? They made that on eight track. They made that. I can't believe they made that on eight track. I was listening to uh, Tupac today with uh, another underrated song, Heaven Got a Ghetto. I wonder if Heaven Got a Ghetto. Another good song. And then I had, I was in the gym, I was working out, and I had a Cool Mo D on. Because it's cool being Cool Mo D. Another, another highly underrated artist. I used to live downtown, 129th Street, Convict. Everything's up, be parties, ball in the park, nothing but girls after dark. We chill. Nobody gets ill at the place that we call the hill. We don't try, we don't tell they kill at the Wild Wild West. Uh, come on, smash that Gigante says, smash that like button. Thumbs up and smash the button. When I hit 70, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm rapping, and I'm watching the number go down. <sighs> you know what, guys? Sometimes it's other things besides giants. That's all we need to remember in life. Everyone needs to stop in and listen to the radio show. Hopefully on the 18th. I did the uh, test. I did the test show today. Three hours and 42 minutes. It was fun. I think there's certain record albums that sound better on CD. I think all record albums sell better on CD. I do. I admit it. I have a 200 disc Sony jukebox because <laughs> i'm old here comes the hop stepper i'm the lyrical gangster still let me like that <laughs> oh my god Something's seriously wrong with me. I can't believe rap is so different. I can't believe rap is so different because you know old school hip hop was fun. Old school hip was old school hip hop was uh, it was um and and then you know and I even you know even when you broke into more like the um, gangster rap and stuff like that, you know, Ice T still one of my favorite gangster rappers and even even when Hammer. Went uh, even when Hammer went hardcore. Of course, he, Hammer was from Oakland. You know, he did the he did the uh, Funky Headhunter. It's all good, great song. Um, rumps in the bumps. Uh, excuse me, rumps in the pumps. We like the girls with the rumps in the pumps. Uh, another great song. It doesn't doesn't get the credit. Wait, never mind. Bengals restructured his contract, so his cap hit is only zero since he didn't hit the incentives. Giants voided the contract, and he's a free agent. All right, I thought so. That's why I wanted to check to see where we are at with that. Good night there, Jeffrey Abbey. Peace out, my friend. Enjoy. Can't wait. I can't wait till the draft. Let's get this draft started. Dirty deeds. Dunder cheap. Another good song. Rump shakers. How do you not like rump shakers? Rump Shakers is another one, man. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm is a dancer. You know what's funny? Um, that's another rhythm is a dancer. That's another good song. Be My Lover, LaBouche. I think I've told the story before. I don't think I ever told the story. I, went, I actually went uh, to Germany with LaBouche. <laughs> 
for three days. <laughs> for three days. They were playing in a club in Orlando, and I was visiting somebody. I was visiting my friend Tom, and um, they were playing. Because Be My Lover is like their only song. I must confess. And um, we were hanging out with some of the some of the dancers, some of the people, and they were going to Germany. It was a Friday. They were going to Germany from Friday to Sunday. And then one of the guys like, you want to come? And my friend Tom was like, well, I don't have a passport. And he went home. And then I said to my friend, I, was, I have my passport because I was traveling. And I went with him. And, and then he was like, where's your friend? And I said, well, he didn't show up. And he goes, because he didn't have a passport. He's like, we're taking a private jet. It's like, you don't need a passport. <laughs> I must confess, girl, to be your love. Hammer caught a lot of shit for going gangster. He did. It was actually good. Run DMC. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. These bribes are Daryl's and the burgers are Ronald's. Yeah, that's another good one. The real McCoy. Yep. That's a good one. I just realized BJ Hill would have been the perfect fit for the BJ Hill actually would have been the perfect fit for the wing system. He would have been. He would have been a great, he would have been a great fit for the system. Digital underground, man. The Humpty dance is your chance. Do the humped. Um, oh my god it's armando armando why do you always show up as i'm getting ready to leave are you sitting there with your corinthian leather i miss armando armando is my other brother i always need a uh because i'm just jealous because i always wanted to be i always wanted to have the name armando i always did if i ever if i ever go on the lamb my name is my uh, my name is going to be Lars Vanden Hewler. If I ever have to, if I ever have to run, <laughs> my other name, if I have to go on the run, is also Pablo Sanchez. I'm not leaving Armando. We love you. I love you too. I love you. It's like like Rick. I don't miss. Uh, be prepared to die. <laughs> That's not Armando. That's what's his name. My name. My name. Is Inigo Montoyo. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Princess Bride. We are Armand, we are Armando. To me. You are Armando. To me. Can't you see? Soul Train. I watched Soul Train. <laughs> Soul Train had a lot of good life, especially in the 80s. They had a lot of live, good live artists on Soul Train. Never watched um was American Bandstand? American Bandstand was a call. I don't remember. Never watched that one, though. You are. I got four more likes, and I got to go to bed. I got to go buy a car. Got to go buy a car. <laughs> How do you feel about all giant moves so far? Armando, let me talk to Armando now. I'm just going to talk to Armando. I like him. I don't not. I don't dislike what they've done. I think coaching wise, they're bringing in the right guys. I think coaching wise, not just outside of the coordinating positions, they're bringing in guys that are, that are, that are um, people that are going to that are that are career positional coaches, which is what you need, which you which you need to have, because of the fact that I think the Giants got away from that when they hired all these you know failed college head coaches. They got away from positional coaches, and I think that's what they've headed back to. Solid gold. Solid gold dancers, man. Solid gold. I don't know T Brad was going to bring up solid gold dancers. Plus the Asian woman from Soul. The Asian woman that always wore the black with the really long hair. I have a truck. I got a better truck than Brian Dable. That's the car I need to replace. I don't know if I want to get another truck or I'm going to get an SUV. I don't know. I don't know. I freaking, I'm going to figure it out. Figure it out. To, I'm not going to figure it out tomorrow. But we're going to figure it out. The bucket heads, the bomb sound of storm in my mind. Like and subscribe, says the moderator. Hey, Tim. Hope your night is going well. It's going well. Just want to say keep up the great work. Love the content. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate the... Uh, I, I really do appreciate that because a lot of times I get a lot of crap. There's sections on YouTube and oh I do want to apologize. There is a um there's a section on YouTube that has that that holds comments. And I didn't know this. I knew it, but I didn't really know it. But there's also like a spam section. It's a lot of my regulars have gotten into the spam section somehow. 
And then there's another section on it called, um, you know, uh, contents that are basically being comments that are basically being held because they're vulgar. And that section is just nasty. <laughs> People sent me some nasty shit, man. Uh, tonight is the night is the night of love. Together we're never, never enough. I was a club guy. <laughs> yes, that's her. I knew that was her, Maximus. I knew who you were talking about. Hmm. Do you think this is a Tom, a Tom as far as a head coach? Do you think this is a Tom as far as head coach? A Tom Coughlin? No. I don't think he's a Tom Coughlin. Leonard Williams, what play? Everyone else on defense, blitz. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be Leonard Williams. That is going to be Leonard Williams. Uh, who do you have in the Super Bowl? Armando, I have the um, I have the Rams going 35-28 over the Bengals. It's going to be a heartbreaking loss for the Bengals. <clears throat> Breaking news, Tim will be hired by the Giants. Yeah, that's not good. This is how we do it. It's Friday night, and I feel all right. A party's here on the west side, so I reach for my 40 and I drink it up. Designated driver, take the keys to my truck. <laughs> Sorry. Anyone young enough for Los Angeles and just what? Tango De Nero. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hola. Donde esta la baño, por favor? Me llamo Tim. Que hora es? <laughs> He's the left Spanish class. Rams all day. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. All girls all over the world. <laughs> uh, old enough. There you go. That's what I was figuring what you're trying to say. <laughs> How's You know how hockey went? Three hours and 42 minutes. I didn't talk about hockey once. Didn't talk about it once today. NBA trade, NBA trade deadline. Chatted about the Bills. Chatted about the Super Bowl. Chatted about the lockup, lockout for baseball. But I really focused on the NBA trade deadline. I cheated. <laughs> uh, you got money translation. Oh, oh my God. It's already 1030. Ace of the base. Oh, that's an ace of the base is another good one. Ace of the base is another good one. Hockey is dope. You're actually at when you, you know what I you know I've been to hockey games, and they are they're great to watch. They're not a lot of fun to watch. James, you're 100 right. It's not a lot of fun to watch on TV, but when you're on the glass, man, that shit's exciting. You said you were a club guy. That was a '90s. That was a '90s club. The club song '90s. Yeah, I know. I know, but I don't remember every song. Party in the ghetto. Oh, Crystal Waters. Another good one, man. Another good one. I'm embarrassed to say it was more than a, a club guy in the 90s. <laughs> it was a club guy in the 2000s, too, in the 2010s. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, who do you like for hockey? I like the Rangers. Um, but, 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 what do we got here? In 1986 divisional round game between the Giants and 49ers, Jim Perry put a hit on Joe Montana so bad he basically buried him under the turf. And then who caught the ball? <laughs> that was a great game in 86, man. 86 Giant defense is probably is still ranked one of the best. I think the NFL ranked them in the top 10. I think they were ranked like three or four for one of the greatest all-time defenses ever. I was being on air. I wasn't on air. We practiced. We did what they referred to as a practice show. And basically all I did is we did it like it would be a real show. And they had a, what they referred to as a VPN connection from my computer to the station. And I could watch the, um, the digitalization of my voice and if my voice was coming through an HD and they, uh, we did it like it was an actual show. So I had the producer in my headphones and then I had to do on air reads for commercials um, and then we, we just did it like it was a show. We just didn't do the call. in, so I had to actually literally talk for three hours and 42 minutes, because even though it's a six hour show between the commercials, the weather, 
um, the other station identification stuff and all that, you really only, even though it's a six hour show, you're really only talking for three hours and 42 minutes. So I really had to do a three hours and 42 minute run. So we'll know. We'll see. We'll see. Been to a Whalers game? No, I've been to a Rangers game and I've been to a Flyers game. Uh, so, I mean, that's, I mean, it, it, I, think it, I think it went well. I think it went well. Me and the producer aren't going to get along, but I think it went well. Which NVA trade did you like? I liked Harden going to Philadelphia. Now, I know in the last 14 months, Harden has basically forced his way out of two organizations, but he never really requested. This is the funny thing. He never requested a trade from uh, he never he never requested a trade, though, he you know, from Brooklyn. He never did. Not like he did with Houston Rockets and Joel Embiid. I think that he, you got maybe a two year window with Joel Embiid. So right now, him being one of the best players in the NBA. I think Harden's going to move forward. Ben Simmons going. I just don't see Ben Simmons fitting foot in, in Brooklyn. I really don't. Are you doing a Sunday Super? Yes, Armando. We are doing a show 10 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, regular times that we always do. But we are going to do the big show. We're doing it from Poppy Cockers. DJ Cool, let, let me clear my throat. <coughs> Another good song. Tuto super chat i ended two of the opposing teams oh best players for the sun plowing them to pitch on the last playoff game sounds sweet the bones joints cracking when you tackle them hard i silenced the stadium i used to love because i used to call them snot it's not bubblers you hit someone so hard you see the snot come out of their nose and bubble out of their nose <laughs> i miss playing i miss playing i miss hitting <laughs> I miss all that stuff. The only problem now, if I played and hit someone, that somebody would break on me. <laughs> oh, they would break. Show me your love. Oh, that's another good one. That's another good club song. Let the music play. She don't get away. What's up, Mr. Authentic? We are just closing this out. We're just kind of hanging out a little bit late. The count's been dropping, but we're just hanging out a little bit. We've been talking music. We're talking giants. Mr. Authentic, of course, you don't know. It's Authentic and the Beard. Go out and check out his channel. Also a pretty good music producer and artist himself. If you go and check it out, you can actually check out some of his music on his website. Let the music play. That's another good song. Two hours ago, I'm late as ever working on some music. That's all right. We actually just started talking about other stuff. <laughs> you sound like you're from my generation, but my, my generation, I'm Gen X. That's why you can tell. I just don't care. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up here? What do we got here? I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I need a bugger. I'm blue. Yeah. Some of our prospects look at Charles Cross penning. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? We're going to take a screenshot of that. And we're going to move that into the file. Mr. Alvarez. We're going to put that in the file for our thing. Oh, ba ba ba. We got the authentic in the house. We got everything going on here. We got the uh, we got the love between authentic and Tuto. It's the Tuto in the house with the authentic. But yeah, I think everything went well with the radio show. I think it did. I think it went all right. I'll probably know on Tuesday if the 18th is still going to be the date. Nikki, what's going on? I know it's the hair. I didn't get to put the real gel in. You'll be 40 tomorrow. <laughs> I got you beat by a, got you beat by a bunch of years. I got you beat by a bunch of years, my friend. I got to go back to looking good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Tim during the season won't be doing a live stream longer than whatever. 30 minutes off season. Two hours and 20 minutes. Oh my God. I just want it because like I said, I, you know, it's funny. I'm trying to build up my voice and then having, you know, like I said, doing streams consistently and trying to do them a little, I'm trying to do them a little bit longer each time. And I laugh though, because people are like, well, you know, you, you stream you start out with hundreds of people and then all of a sudden you only have 50, you know, aren't you upset about that? No, because I'm practicing. You guys are my guinea pigs. I'm practicing talking for, I'm not going to talk for three hours and 42 minutes. I'm not doing that. If we get Willis at five, 
What do you want it to do at seven? Devin Lloyd. Come on, T-Brad. We're getting Lloyd. Tupac or Biggie? That's an East Coast, West Coast question. I, I, I'm a Tupac guy. I like Biggie. I, I But I think if you're going to look at the catalog of work, you know, you get you gotta go with you gotta go with Tupac. And California Love Man is still one of my favorite raps. California Love I don't bail fresh out of jail. California dreaming. As soon as I step on the scene, I'm hearing Hoochie screaming, "Money and alcohol, the life of the West Side player." So you, know, you gotta know the whole thing. Ah, oh, something seriously wrong with me. Something seriously wrong with me. I also know boy bands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not even going to get that story. On a scale of one to 10, what are your chances of the Giants are driving three? <laughs> you know, uh, Mr. Authentic is a, is a Malik Willis uh, enthusiast such as myself, but I don't see it. I don't see the Giants doing it. I don't see them pulling the trigger. I don't see them being bold and having mighty forces come to their aid. Uh, uh, I just don't see it. I wish I did. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you want them to do something different to Giants, and I think that's the that's the problem. I think that's the issue. You want them to do something. You want them to do something different, and I don't see. I just don't see them doing something different. I, and I wish they would. I wish they would. Yeah, that's a few prospects I can think of at the top. I have lucky a lot of the O line prospects this year played multiple positions, so they can put them in different years. You're right. Uh, eight match all, and you never don't hear me two of my favorite songs. Um, I actually, we were just talking about that. Uh, one of my favorite songs, which, which a lot of people don't really, uh, a lot, a lot of people don't count as one of his better, uh, better songs is, uh, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. That's one of my favorite songs. Menudo. I know Menudo. Ricky Martin, of course, was in Menudo. Everyone knows that. T Brad, I'm a stupid optimist. The Giants will draft Willis to help my book sales. It could it could go the other way, and your book sales could could, could take off as well. What was the other book? The T Brad, what T Brad? What was the other book with the Giants? Didn't draft Malik Willis. What is what is that? Fireside Giants say we should trade our fifth pick and second round pick to move up to the third pick and grab a tackle. Thoughts. They're stupid. <laughs> you know my honest thoughts? I don't know who they are, and they're stupid. Then once you, you're going to need, I'm going to tell you something right now. Even trading up from three, uh, no, <laughs> that's stupid. And they're going to want something else besides the second round pick just to go two spots. We've seen it. AKA, look at what happened with and what they traded the Bears to get Trubisky. Wonder if Henry, yeah, that is a that is the man that's on fire. That song, that song is tight. That song is blazing. I love that. I love that song. But some people just don't get it. Jilted at the altar. Oh, another good one. The Super Bowl perform. What is the Super Bowl performance? Super Bowl performance halftime performance though is going to be. De- what is the Super Bowl performance? I don't even know what the Super Bowl performance is. Does anyone know? I was trying to see what the um I'm trying to see what the Super Bowl performance is. Uh I don't know what Super Bowl performance is. I can't find it. What is this? Uh, I don't know, I can't find it. Uh pain from Tupac. That was a giants have endured for a decade. <laughs> That's true. Or are they are could they sit there? What about uh no, no, uh uh, so many tears. And then hopefully this season is going to have to be keep y'all head up. <laughs> so I think that should be this season as well. Oh my goodness. Would love to see Willis, but not trade, not get traded again. We're not going to trade the farm again. Mary J. Blige, man. I like Mary J. Blige a lot. Hey, Tim, Tim Wakefield. He was the winner of the Super Bowl ring. I've been tracking your package. Your ring will be there Monday. Been tracking the package for you. Marky Mark and the Funky Punch. 
got a good vibration, such a sweet sensation. Donnie D's on the backup. Uh, it's going to be Eminem. I like Eminem. My eight mile good scene. What was his rabbit? Was it rabbit? I, I haven't seen it. Sorry. I haven't seen that in a long time. That movie. I love Snoop Dogg too. Snoop Dogg. Dog. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee, yo. Oh, so it's Eminem, Dre, Snoop Dogg. Oh, Kendrick Lamar and Mary G. Black. Really? Wow. I got to watch the halftime show. That's something I would watch. Keep your head up, y'all. Brenda's got baby. Change all great Tupac song. Yeah. Those are, um, I'm trying to think of any other ones I can think of at the top of my head. Um, I don't remember. Did I say, um, did I say, uh, Dear Mama? Um, what's the other one? Uh, another good one. Live and Die in LA. Another good one. Rabbit, yeah. I haven't seen I haven't seen Eight Mile in a long time. I saw that in the theater. Hip hop legends. I think you copied my comments. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. Brenda got a baby is one of the best written songs ever. You know, you're not wrong. When did this term in hip hop hour? Let them find out. Tim know know some Pac. I do. I mean, like I said, this stuff. Uh, I you know, like I said, it's it's um, hip hop, man. Old school hip hop, old school rap. Well, now it's old school. I, that's what that was my thing back in the day. That was my thing. Some of the some of the. I mean, so you like you see, but and that's and that was some of the best music. I also got into grunge, and I got into uh, new wave and alternative music. There was a place in Jersey called uh, City Gardens. So I used to go there a lot. And there, I, I saw bands like Nirvana and Green Day, Black Flag, Henry Rollins, uh, the Ramones, Guar. You know, there's, there, I've seen some, uh, you know, so it's like, I like a little bit of everything. I like a little bit of everything. Mr. On, <laughs> Mr. Online, Thug Life, all day besides Wills. What's your next pick? I'm picking linebacker. I'm picking Devin Lloyd. Picking Devin Lloyd. I want to use them to pick out one trade for one pick next year. Would you rather have two number first rounds this year, uh, this pick and trade down, or I would rather have my two number ones this year. I do still think we need to trade down, but I still want my two number ones this year. We need, we need, we need talent. We need talent. And that's what we need. <clears throat> 90s forever be known as the golden age. 90s were the golden age of hip hop, man. 90s were, and honestly, to me, if you really want the golden age of hip hop, you got to go back to the 80s. You got, you got to go back. You got to go back. To, I mean, like old school hip hop, hip hop, hip 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 hop. You don't stop a rocket to the bang bang boogie. Said up, jump the boogie with the rhythm of the boogie the beat. What you hear is not a test because I'm rapping to the beat. I mean, you got to go way back. And I've talked about it before. You have to go back to the classic rap battles between Cool Mo D and LL Cool J. Before he went, I'm bad. And, you know, before he, he he went to these other songs. I mean, LL Cool J, people forget. He started out when he was like, what, 16? And they had the classic. I used to have the rap tape. They used to have these class. They had this classic, you know, you, you this, these classic rap battles back in the day. And like I said, it was just, like I said, it's, it's just, you don't get that anymore. And I feel lucky. Yes, City Gardens, <laughs> Trenton, Calhoun Street. I not, I didn't grow up there, but I spent a lot of times in the 80s and 90s in City Gardens. If a band went into City Gardens, I probably saw them. Like I said, I, I, I mean, I saw Nirvana there. Before Nirvana was Nirvana, I saw Green Day. I must have seen the Ramones there. 99, 99 Cent Dance Night with DJ Carlos. <laughs> I mean, that was back in the day, man. We got a two-toe super chat. Please, everyone, pray for our upcoming grueling playoff night. I'll live and die elimination. Also, pray for the opposing team casualties. No remorse. No way out. What's in the cage? Oh, dear Lord. Please let the two-toe and the two-tones not hurt the opposing team too much. And allow them not only to win... But have the team, the other team, at least be able to make it to the bus. 
in the Lord's name. Amen. There you go, my buddy. Hail Mary, me and my girlfriend, do we love? It's just, it's just, you know, too Motley crew, man. Cinderella poison. Yeah. I mean, I like hair band rap. T- I like hair. I like hair metal stuff too. I, I think uh, poison, poison was poison was something. Grandmaster flash. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, grandmaster flash is this thing. It's the shit, man. I mean, that, that was that Grandmaster Flash was, uh, I mean, Grandmaster Flash. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, like I said, you don't get that anymore. You, you don't get, you don't get that any, you just don't get that anymore. Uh, you just don't. And, and I wish you did, but you know, you, those days are gone. You mean, get, uh, who knows, but um, get ready to rumble. Back in the day, man. That was um, that was in the nineties. Was that in the nineties? Was that like ninety nine? Was that? I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Eighties was the foundation for the nineties golden era. Too many all time greats has coming out. You're right. Uh, James Lloyd, my cousin, used to be really good running back. He averaged four point six yards. Whatever that life happens. Yeah, life does happen. If you like rap, they did go back in the day. Now you would get laughed at. If you like rap, they like did back in the day. Oh yeah, now you can't do what they did back in the day. I mean, like I said, even 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 people like Cool Mo D. Cool Mo D. That was the problem. with the problem with Cool Mo D. Was the fact that he he went to college. He graduated from college, and he didn't like to curse. And he'd do songs like Avenue, which is a great. Song. Avenue, Avenue. Bought a brand new car, drive it down the boulevard, turn the corner because I want to be chilling hard. Uh, you know, but you. And now the people will think that's corny, but it, I mean, but it was, it was, yeah, I don't know. I'm just old. <laughs> I'm just white snake. Well, everyone thinks Tony contain with a white snake. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. I'm only going to go for nine more minutes. because I'm trying to do three hours. <laughs> I'm not doing three hours and 42 minutes. So I'm going to try to do three <laughs> hours. I didn't think I was going to go that long. Is it KRS, uh, KRS one? Oh yeah. That was a great rap out. KRS one. You're right. You're right. Mm. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Great balls of fire. I also like Elvis. <laughs> I mean, so, and Bob Marley and, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. People did hip hop in the beginning for the love of music. They're always making money. It was showing your art. Now it's about making money. I hate to say it. I used to remember, <laughs> you know, I, just, I mean, I just remember, I remember all this. I mean, I remember all this stuff. I grew up in an area in, in and that's why I last when T Brown talks about Trent. I grew up in an area in Trenton. I mean, I didn't grow up there, but I spent a lot of time there and I lived there for an extended period of time. So, I mean, it was, um, that's just what it was. The Boogie Down Productions. It's just, it's just what it was. I mean, it was just, it's just what I grew up with. But then I always, you know, I always said that, uh, uh, I always said that, you know, but I, I've always gotten into other genres of music. You know, I never, I never turned a, um, I never turned a, a deaf ear to any type of music. I mean, I like, I like Spanish music, I like Latin music. You know, I liked uh, Mark Anthony before he went, you know, with Jennifer Lopez and went crazy. You know, people like Cheyenne. Um, you know, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, so not only, you know, so you gotta like a little bit of everything. Uh, my bad. I meant to be bringing up real rap history. My dude, yeah, what are we talking about? Facts here. <laughs> Crush groove, Crush groove. Cool. Mo D was on a roll. Jingle jangle for the poor. You know, another thing I was cracking up, I was listening to Morris day in the time. Of course it could also be just for the time. As well, you know, it was just another one of those things that a song like Oak tree, <laughs> Nowadays, it would be, you know, people would be laughing. Oak tree would put you to the test. Oak tree would come to dance, and Morris is the best. And then there's Jerk Out when he did after, you know, because one of my favorite, baby, don't get too comfortable because I really like sleep alone. <laughs> so, I mean, but again, you're right. It would be stuff now that you never, you would never do. Folsom, I came down to Folsom Prison. That's where I want to stay. I like Johnny Cash. 
I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 but the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. That ring of fire is the ring of fire. Man called Sue. Another great song. Big Bad John. Big Bad John. Every morning they walked in the mine. They weighed 646, weighed 249. I got a brawl on the shoulders and narrow on the hips. And everyone knew you never gave no lip to Big John. Bob Marley. It was my dad's. I love Bob Marley. What kind of car are you buying? I don't know yet. I'm going to go to Ford. I'm going to go to Chevy. And I go to different couple places. I'm going to go to different places look around. LL Cool J Rock the Bells on the Radio. Really? I didn't know he was on there. I got a couple hip hop stations that I like. Uh, do you know Mark Holmes and Michael? Where's the fitnesses? Do I know them personally? <laughs> uh, or do I know the song? Tribe Called Quest. That's another good Tribe Called Quest. What about modern country? I don't know any modern country. My wife, who's Hispanic, <laughs> likes country, which is kind of funny. Um, I, I don't know. I can't think of any songs. There's that. There's this whiskey song she likes, and it's about a guy that's an alcoholic. I, I always think it's great because I always think of country like you know I rolled my pickup in the ditch. My wife is a beep. You know, <laughs> that's what I think of country. But you know, but you listen to some countries though. There is some good country music. I, I can't think of any. I can't. I can't think of any songs right now for country. <clears throat> I, I mean. Billy Ray Cyrus is achy, breaky heart. I know that. But my wife likes country music. Uh, Luke Bryant. Is that the name of the song? I think Luke Bryant is the one that sings the song. It's Kentucky something or, or whiskey something or whiskey and rye or something. Uh, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Now it's going to bug me. I would be an awesome rapper. My rap name. I haven't told a lot of people this story, but my rap name, I have a rap name. I have a rap name. People don't know this because when you live in the streets of Trenton where I lived and being as audacious as I am, I was given a rap name. Whiskey Lullaby. It wasn't Whiskey Lullaby. My rap name was Electric Wind. <laughs> Tennessee Whiskey. That's the name of the song. Tennessee Whiskey. I was Electric Wind. I don't remember why they called me Electric Wind, but that was my rap name. And I also learned, living in Trenton, when there's one street light. In the entire street that's on, and all of them are all of them, all of them are also blacked out. Don't go under that street light unless you want to buy drugs. I learned a lot of things living in Trenton. I always joke around. I always joke around and tell people I think I, at one point in time I was the only white guy where I lived in Trenton. I think I was the only white guy in Trenton. Chris Stapleton. Oh, Chris Stapleton. That's 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 it. That's it. I think you're right. I think I think that's the song. I have a Puerto Rican girlfriend. Whoops. Uh, and I think I'm scared. Because well, you have a Puerto Rican girlfriend, so you know. If she gets mad at you, you're going to get cut. You know that. That's the law. <laughs> that's the Puerto Rican law. That's the Puerto Rican law, man. Oh, my God. Where, I want to hear what El Gigante's top 10 songs are. Tim needs to rap with giants with giant players. I get what you call it. I could do the Super Bowl shuffle. We are the we are the best shuffling through shuffling through. We're so, so we're so bad that we knew we we're good. That was such a terrible song. That was such a terrible song. <laughs> They call me sweetness, and I like to dance. Running the balls, like making romance. We've had a goal since training camp to bring Chicago a Super Bowl champ. Now, some people think the Bears are greedy, but we're doing this to feed the needy. I didn't come here looking for trouble. I just came to do the Super Bowl shuffle. Sorry. 
Now I have to go watch Breaking and Breaking too. Turbo and Ozone. Shabadoo Shrimp was the other guy. Was the guy's real name? <laughs> he used to love the name Shabadoo Shrimp. Uh, let's see here. Yep, I remember when Patty Mills was a young guy on the team, and when we drafted Kwai. Time flies. Hopefully, the Spurs will be a good catch for Pop is gone. Hope Pop is gone soon. I'm not a big Popovich fan. I got 15 seconds. <laughs> what a word to describe her is crazy. Oh, we finally got the list. What's the list? Uh, I'm LA Mike. I'm playing cool. No one sneaks by me because I'm no fool. Do you like Hector? You know, I don't think I know Hector. I know he's a he's a, he's a Puerto Rican singer. He's a he's from Puerto Rico, but he's a, he's a, he's more old. He's more old school. I when I lived in Florida, I've seen I've uh Victor Manuel. I don't know how many times I've saw him in person. Uh, what was it? Uh, um, I saw Mark Anthony a bunch of times in clubs, and these were in clubs. Uh, what's it? Uh, Tito Nuyeves, Grupo Mania. <laughs> um, I mean, there used to be just see, they, um, they just be so many people that you would actually go. And it's funny because you would actually go see these people in clubs. Like I saw Mark Anthony at least seven different times <laughs> in like in Florida in seven different clubs. Um, so you would, you know, you, you would see that it, it, it would, I mean, nowadays you don't, you don't see that anymore. Like I said, uh, Victor Manuel, I think I must've seen Victor Manuel. I don't know how many times um, I've seen, like I said, I saw Cheyenne perform uh, a couple times also in Orlando, but he was actually in much larger venues. Oh my God. All right, guys. It's now I got the three hour mark blood in blood out. It's at the three hour mark. We're heading out of here, guys. Didn't hit our 70 likes, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, going back to the MCI hammer, funky head, hunter, funky head hunter song. Um, big stream Sunday, 10 30 Eastern standard time. Hope everyone can join in. Good night, everyone. I think everyone hope it is over. Good evening, a good day. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. It's been a long day today, but we will have the big show with the Dahmer. 1030 Sunday, Eastern Standard Time. And we're El Caliente. Uh, and we are actually, I, have, I actually have listened to that. <laughs> Peace and love for everyone. Peace, love, and soul. Soul train. Trey Daniel Jones. Good night, James. Good night, Armando. Good night, El Gigante. Good night, Zach Attack. Thank you for being my Google buddy. I'm going to have to hire Zach. Zach is going to be, I'm going to have to put Zach on the staff because someone's got to Google because Dom still does not know how to Google. Um, I really enjoyed the last 45 minutes. Sometimes it's nice just to not talk about giants and just talk about other stuff. So we're out of here, guys. Hope you have yourself a good evening. Stay safe. Stay warm. It's actually going to be 60 degrees tomorrow down here in the, in the east. We're out of here. Even the mods saying good night. Goodbye. Good luck. Hopefully we get to 70. If not, there's always tomorrow. Good night, everyone.